Good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. How are you all this morning? I must say, I've um, a bit of an accident prone today. I've said to Faye, Faye's joining us in a bit. She's like, I've got to keep, I know we're keeping our distance anyway, but I'm trying to stay away from everybody today because I'm really accident prone. So I just thought I'd let everybody know at the start of the show uh, because I kind of want to stop this jinxed thing. I literally want to uh, start again. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's show. We've got a brilliant lineup today. We've got the girls here today. Kat, Laura and Faye are going to be uh, with us all morning long. So if you've got any questions, message in. Should we start with the early bird though? So yesterday we launched the most amazing uh, nostalgic tins of, uh, of Gutemann threads. The beautiful, you saw them in the, uh, the presentation box here. We've got three different colorways now. We've basically got three early birds today. They're all individual. You've got the bright, the pastels, and then you've also got the mixed. Which, which one do you want to start first? We'll load all the graphics in and then I'll talk about them individually as well, just so that you can get checking out as soon as possible. I've got this one first. And as I say, it is going to be an early bird special price. But look, these beautiful, beautiful, this is one's from 1925. It's gorgeous, a lovely little tin. And then you've got all of your essentials. This is the So All Nostalgic 1925 thread box with eight of your 100 meter Gutemann threads. Uh, the great thing about these ones is that they are your So All threads. So whether you are uh, quilting, piecing, applique, uh, hand, hand embroidery, if you're doing, uh, uh, sorry, hand, uh, hand stitching like EPP, this is going to be ideal for EPP actually because you've got your greys, you've got your lovely neutrals, uh, they are going to be your sort of essential pack and what a beautiful gift as well in the tin, really beautiful gift. It's £14.99. We've got so much exciting things going on today, which I'll tell you about in a moment. But that's the one with the neutrals. Uh, individual, they're all individual early birds today. So that's the one. I've also got 1927, which is your lovely brights. All eight spools in a lovely tin. <gasps> oh, how gorgeous are they? Less than £2 a spool in the tin for just £14.99 and they are beautiful, beautiful bright pastel colours aren't they? I love them. I love that bright yellow, that's gorgeous. I think that's brilliant value for money when you're looking at quality Gutemann threads. I know I was talking to Cara about Gutemann threads yesterday and she was saying I love them. You just know that you, you've got a really great strong polyester thread. Yeah she was, uh, yeah, she was trying to steal our Gutemann threads from us yesterday. We had to prize the, um, the, the big pack offer. Uh, 14 99 though, if you just want to dip your toe in or if you're getting a gift for somebody, less than £15 is fantastic. And if you've got it in your basket, we've got a very, very exciting announcement today. For anybody who is checking out, we've got a discount code. Now, I said to Neil, my word, he's feeling generous. Midweek deal, he's doing a brilliant, brilliant manager special for everybody who is purchasing and spending over £30. So if you've got both of these in your basket, if you're adding anything else in, make sure you use the code MIDWEEK5 and you'll get an extra £5 off, a £5 saving, £30 or more. If you're spending £30 or more, you get £5 off. You do need to use that code. If you're speaking to the team, uh, make sure you mention the code or if you're buying online, there's a little uh, box to add the coupon or add the code uh, to be able to be eligible. It's only for today. It's only till midnight tonight. And uh, it's for one use only. So once your total tops over £30, make sure you check out and you'll get the £5 off. So they are your pastels. And then we've also got the brights. In 1928. I just love the tins as well. Aren't they gorgeous? Be really nice to collect all these tins, actually. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there are people who are buying one of each, honestly, especially now that you're getting the discount as well. £14.99. If, if you are on the web shop and you're, you have this in your basket, it's definitely worth having a bit of a rummage through. And things that maybe you were thinking, oh, do you know what? 
if I'm buying something else, then I might as well add that to my order. And especially as you're getting five pounds off. So those of you that potentially were umming and ahhing yesterday about the stripology, the extra large one that's coming to stock, or if you were looking at the big tin of Guterman threads and umming and ahhing about it, they were 39.99. It's definitely worth having a look at those online. Taking advantage of it, it's just a little bit more off, isn't it? Five pounds off when you spend 30 pound or more. Do make sure you use the code midweek five. If you're watching in the future, Hello <laughs> future. If you're watching tomorrow, today is the 22nd, is it? Gosh, 22nd of July, where on earth is July gone? Weird, isn't it? But anyway, it's only for today, 22nd of July. So if you are watching on any kind of repeat in the future, um, I'm ever so sorry. It was just for today, just for today. So all of them individually, £14.99 each, Gorgeous colours, it's just a matter of making up your mind on which ones you want or are you going to get them all. Eight spools in each pack and each of them are £14.99 uh, each. They are amazing value. So, if you do want to get in touch with us today, if you've got any questions for Faye, uh, she's an incredible dressmaker with uh, heaps of experience. So if you do have any questions for her, we've got some brilliant masterclasses today. If you do want to message in, it's studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com that will go straight up to my producer Laura in the gallery and she can pass down any messages to myself and Faye if you've got any questions if you want to ask uh, to see anything in particular if we've got it we will um, what else is I going to say if you just want to come and say hello just come say hello it's studio at sewingstreet.com if you want to get in touch with our Facebook, there's always somebody monitoring our Facebook page, Sewing Street TV, uh, if you want to find us on Facebook. Also, definitely join Sewing Street fans on Facebook as well. It's a great group that will give you lots of great encouragement and a, a place to, to share all your makes or get any tips and hints from like-minded people, which is brilliant. So, this first show, we have got a whole hour um, learning how to do an amazing hat. Now, I love these flat caps because I think they're unisex, great ideas for gents, really smart, and especially after all of Peaky Blinders became all the rage, I think flat peak caps have been uh, very much on trend, haven't they? We've got lots of different options in denim, we've got tweeds as well. Uh, but yeah, was, thank you, Jewelry Maker, for letting us borrow your lovely little uh, model here, your head. It's amazing, isn't it? I would just say to be able to do, you know, like your, your, your peak with buckram and having that lovely shape, it's amazing. So let's have a look at what you get in the kits. We've got loads of different options. Let's start with the one that Faye has made up already. Now, this is a great price as well. You have your instructions with all of your templates. We will go through all of this with Faye. So you get all of your instructions. You then also get your interfacing. You have your elastic, you have half a metre of copen and half a metre of your denim. Now, this is your medium blue, medium to, heavy, medium to heavyweight wash denim cotton. And if I open this out, look at how wide it is. It's really, really wide. So obviously, I think you're going to be able to do more than one hat, I'm presuming. Um, so even if it's some left over anyway to do other accessories, you're definitely gonna have more than enough to be able to do the hat. £19.99 as well is brilliant price. Brilliant, brilliant price. We love these hats. They're very, very popular indeed. And remember, if you're taking your total order over £30, use the code MIDWEEK5 and you get a £5 discount. So it includes your interface and it includes your elastic. You will need to add some buckram, which we've got in a bit, but that is a very, well, it's just, it's, I think that's a really unisex hat as well in the denim option, isn't it? And in the tweeds, denim suits everybody. Very on trend indeed. Just £19.99, including your instructions. Right, so that is your denim. Should we do the one that Faye is demonstrating with? Once again, you get your iron-on interfacing plenty in the pack. Plus, you're getting your elastic, which is like gold dust at the minute, isn't it? Um, you also have half a metre of your lovely grey, which is elephant. And then, look at the quality of this. This is like Savile Row tweed, isn't it? And it's only $22.99. Just to be able to get half a metre of this, I think it's brilliant. 
Uh, you can't really see as, as well on screen, but it, it's got the most beautiful, beautiful color. Can you see all the different flecks? Oh, it's gorgeous, beautiful texture. So that's your Tom's Asheville tweed flat cap. It's called Tom's, by the way, because um, it's our Tom. Our graphic designer, Tom, loves this hat. Absolutely loves, loves, loves this hat. He always wears a flat cap, doesn't he? So um, yeah, we've named this Tom's Asheville flat cap. Uh, well, he's named it that. So you get your elastic, your instructions, and your interfacing. You do get your pattern pieces as well. For £22.99, brilliant price when you're looking at that quality tweed. Unbelievable. So the other tweed option, this is the only other tweed option. Do you know I love this? Because it's got the really nice little pink grain running through it. Pink and grey, tweed, uh, I mean, it's just so classic, isn't it? But I really like that, that you've got the chevron design with then the, the real delicate pink running through. And look at the salvage. I know Kat loves this. I'd have to use that in something. That's really nice. You're going to have plenty available. Remember, it's really nice and wide. You're also getting your interfacing. You're getting this time half a metre of your grey for your lining. And you're getting your elastic plus your instructions for £22.99. Remember, don't forget, add uh, the early bird to your order. And then you, of course, only uh, you'll get another £5 off if you use the code MIDWEEK5. I'm going to sound like a broken record saying that all the time. But for anyone who's just tuning in, it's only for today because our Neil is feeling very generous for everybody. £5 off when you spend £30 or more. Uh, if you speak to the customer service team, well done to everybody who's checked out. If you missed the code, speak to the team and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. I'm sure they'll be able to help you. Um, yeah, uh, Laura's saying, ring the customer service team if you're struggling to put the code in. Or if you checked out beforehand. If you bought before this morning and you didn't know, because I know a lot of eagle eyes are there at 7am checking out. I'm hoping that you'll be able to amend your order with the customer service team anyway. Um, right, this one's different, isn't it? Kat, this is the one that you took the photo of yesterday, wasn't it? It's brand new. All of these are brand new. The pattern's brand new. The fabric's brand new. And this one is really different. That's really nice, isn't it? It's got great gold flecks running through. See, that is going to have a completely different look, isn't it? Do you know what I would love to do? Like a flower, you could make almost like um, a, a flower with it as well, couldn't you, to put on? Do you know what I mean? Or a brooch to match? Or a little bag to match or something? £22.99. So you're getting half a metre of this, which is, again, a lot of fabric. Plus then you're getting half a metre of your red. You're then getting your uh, interfacing, your elastic and your pattern. I don't know where the elastic's gone, but I've obviously already stolen it. <laughs> £22.99, plus you're then getting your instructions as well. I don't know what I've done with it, sorry. Right, uh, those of you that have never shopped with us before, if you want to make the most, especially of that midweek offer, you're getting a £5 discount today when you use the code MIDWEEK5, this is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping.
I'm very excited about this demonstration. How are you, fine? I'm good. It's lovely to have you back. Yeah, it's nice to be back. I enjoyed myself last time, so it's good to be back. Oh, and, and I said, I think everyone's going to, we're going to give you hats all the time now. We did the bucket hat with you last time. Yeah, We've got yeah. The flat pink cap with <laughs> well, you. I now. got this through and I thought, because I'm from Yorkshire, I thought, yeah. what, what they're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> giving me a flat cap to make. Yeah. Now, now the Brummies as well, yeah. Birmingham with uh, oh, Peaky yeah, Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're all associated yeah. with flat caps now, and yeah. I love them. They are real, real know, unisex what, and classic, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I've just seen all the bundles. I don't get to see any any of the bundles till I come in. I'm like, why didn't you give me that one? To that be? The red, one's the, really the nice, gorgeous, isn't it? The red, and the one with the pink. Yeah, uh, it's just stunning. Yeah, so I think all, it's going to work with all the absolutely. bundles. Absolutely, and I can't get over the quality either. I mean, the wool is just amazing. Quality. It yeah. is gorgeous quality tweed, mm. isn't it? It's really hard sometimes for you to see at home to be able to reach in and touch it and yeah. feel it. It is stunning quality. You know, when you fa feel those, like I, I just can only describe it as like the Savile Row yeah. wool suits like yeah, they are just yeah, amazing stunning, stunning quality yeah so uh yeah i'm looking forward to, to showing what you can do with it so there's a, quite a few pieces to a flat yeah, cap isn't yeah there? so if i talk you through uh so look at the anatomy of the flat cap so <laughs> this is your brim which will be these two pieces here right uh you've got your crown which is this bit which i think looks a little bit like an octopus Okay, uh, well, the so I, I was calling it the octopus piece when i was doing it and this is your side so the look the shapes look a bit odd yeah but i'm going to show you how to pin them as well because they just need a little bit of easing in so when you're putting it in um when i first did it i didn't ease it i just thought oh, i'll just pin it and i had loads left over at the end of here right so you do have to carefully pin it and shape it in but okay. i'll show you i'll show you how to do that uh, and also i'm going to show you a really important technique when it comes to doing the uh Peak. peak. And they've got the word then. I keep calling the it beak, don't I? <laughs> so, oh yeah, your beak's got buckram in it, hasn't yeah. it? But it's yeah, so peak. it's got a little bit, I've got a piece here already pre-cut. Okay. So that's uh, that's going to be inserted into your peak to keep, right. uh, keep the shape. Um, but what I'm also going to show you is something called turn of cloth. Uh, mm. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a technical term. Yeah, a technical term, yeah. Um, so what that means is, is that, I don't know if you can see it on the underside of the hat, um, but we're going to make one of these pieces very slightly smaller. So what happens is that the hem around the peak actually curls and rolls under, so it's underneath. So it just gives you a really nice professional oh. thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So Amazing. that doesn't you don't, you don't get that in the instructions, but I'm going to I'm going to show you show you how to do it. Fantastic. Okay. Jump yeah. down to today's date, and you can watch it yeah. back on YouTube. So with the, the amount of pieces, you get a lot of fabric here. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm presuming you could possibly yeah, potentially, make more yeah, than could, one. Yeah, you could make more than one, yeah, definitely. Yeah, or a little might accessory. Need more lining. Yeah, yeah, and another piece of your book. Uh, word well, on this as well is yeah. um, uh, if you can't get hold of this, uh, you can just use some strong card. Okay. Yeah, so that's another option you can use. We well. have got the book room. It's nine ninety nine. You get a whole meter. <laughs> So you're going to make it yeah. galore. But it's quite useful for the bag, oh, base yeah. uh, of bags yeah, and all, all sorts, sorts, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So they're brilliant. You do get a whole metre of that. Um, my mum's just bought it, actually, to make um, some pelmets on a, for, for home furnishings oh, in right, this okay. book room as yeah. well. So it is, um, it is great value for money for £9.99. Definitely worth adding that in. And in fact, if you buy your tweeds and you buy this, then it means that you're eligible for the code where you get another £5 off. So basically, you've got a whole metre for a fiver, really. Okay, sorry. So yeah, you cut all of your pattern pieces out. Yeah, so... Does it include seam allowance? Uh, there, It does include seam allowance, so you're working with half an inch seam okay. allowance on this pattern, okay? Okay. Uh, when just in comparison with these um fabrics and the wools the wools are a little bit thicker so just bear that in mind uh so the, there's a bit of a difference in using these and these ones but you know they will look fabulous whichever one you pick um so first thing i'm going to show you i'm going to skip ahead slightly on the instructions initially it shows you how to make the crown and the side put okay. them together i'm just going to jump ahead and go straight for the uh peak uh just so I can show you in full how the technique and how to do that correctly. So we'll jump straight onto that. So these pieces actually... You've interfaced. So I've interfaced yeah. the octopus <laughs> and I've interfaced the, the side. Two-legged octopus. Yeah, yeah, so but you don't interface um, your peak. Okay. Because that's going to have your buckram in. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I've left a, about a, half an inch uh, space around there just to help with, with bulk and also with measuring my seam allowances. So... So what I need to show you, I need my scissors for this. So we're going to do a technique called turn of cloth, okay? So when you get your pattern, um, I'm not sure exactly how the pattern is arriving, but what you need to do is make one of these pieces slightly smaller than the other. 
Right. So the smaller piece is going to go, it's going to be the underside of the peak. Okay. So you'll see that I'll place them on top and they're exactly the same size. Okay. Yeah. So the way to do this is we need to trim a little bit off this edge. Okay. So I'm going to make it very, very slightly smaller than this piece. So I'm, and when I say a tiny piece, I mean like, like two millimeters. So right. really, really small. Okay. So I'm just going to go in with my scissors now, freehand, and just start to trim a bit off that curve. And it's the bottom curve that I'm using, or that I'm snipping, not, not the top curve. Because okay. this is the side that we're going to stitch down. So the long curved edge. Where is this turn of cloth used? It's, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, more of a couture technique. It oh, just, nice. Yeah, so you'll use it on edge, like cuffs and things you can use it on. Um, or if you're making a pocket flap, for example. Yeah. It just it just ever so slightly turns the face fabric under, so you just so you don't get that edge to edge look. Nice. So it just looks really neat, yeah. yeah it's so it's a nice nice little couture technique I'm showing you here. So yeah, you can you can apply that in in lots of different things, not just with this with the hat. Anything that has an edge to edge on it, potentially you can you can do it. So I've made that very very slightly smaller. You I'm not yeah, sure you've if that's... literally taken a slither off it, yeah, haven't yeah, you? So you can see what's come off tiny it. Tiny bit, yeah. So two, three millimetres at the most. So now, so this is the interesting bit. If I can get my pins open. Are they open? Oh. There's, a, got some there's more. a tray I've at the bottom. I've got some more. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's my pins there. So this is going to look a bit odd. So, so that's my smaller piece. I'm going to lay that on the top and I'm going to lay it edge to edge. And this probably goes against everything you've been taught, okay, because it's going to look a little bit strange because it's going to look all ripply and look like it doesn't fit, but that's what we want it to look like. Okay, okay. so I'm just, yeah, yep, yeah, trust me. So I'm just going to do each corner first. And what we're going to do, we're going to stretch that smaller piece over the bigger piece underneath. Mm -hmm. And it'll look a bit ripply and a bit weird and it won't lay flat. But that's how we create that turn of cloth. So literally, you're just easing those edges together. And then we'll stitch it down. And when we turn it through, I'll go around this side now. So you see there that it's starting to kind of pull a bit and not it's not really sitting right but that's that's exactly what we want okay and that's exactly how it should look so i'll just go in again at the other side make sure that it's evenly distributed so you see there that i'm getting a bit of a a ripple effect going on there so it might be that i just want to again just play around with, my, around with my pins and just distribute that as best i can it's really worth doing this technique as well because it just gives you such a lovely finish. And it's worth pinning, I know that you do this automatically, mm -hmm. but you're pinning them horizontally down like yeah. that and yeah. not across because no. when you're going along the machine... Yeah, it's, yeah, especially when it's a curve as well. It's, okay. a good, no, it's a good point you make there, yeah, because um, when it's a curve, if you take it out and it's long ways, it's kind of going to move again. So I find it best when it's a curve to put them straight, um, do them uh, an angle, a 90 degree angle like that. The only reason I say it is because I've done it, I watch it and think, oh, okay, you've pinned it all, and then I'll set, spend time pinning them all horizontally mm -hmm. and then go, oh, hang Should on. Take them all out. Yeah. Sewing, they get, so, yeah, yeah. yeah right. But if you just, I don't know if you can see that there, you can see how ripply yeah. that one side yeah. is. Okay, so that's, that's, Correct. That's correct. Okay, so when you look at that, oh my God, that, what is that? What, <laughs> what has she done? What has she showing me? That's how it should look for this okay. technique. Okay, I'll just pop a couple more pins in there. So now I'm just going to stitch half an inch all the way along the long curved side. Okay, so we haven't touched the top. Mm -hmm. So it's that side we're going to sew because that's where we're going to insert our buckram. Any um, tips on when you're doing the denim, you use a denim needle. Did you use a denim needle with it? I just use a standard it? needle. Normal yeah, needle? I'd say because it's can use a denim needle, but with this one I just use it's a standard. A, yeah, a it, was, it was, it was always... It wasn't a thick, heavy dead no, end. No. Yeah, so yeah. Worth How it. about with then the tweed? Yeah, you, 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 could, right. you could maybe, yeah, again, I used a, a standard needle, but you, maybe you want to go for a hundred size maybe because it's okay. a little bit thicker. So you might want to just increase the thickness of your needle on that one. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll uh, I'll jump on the machine and I'm going to be using um, half an inch seam allowance, which thankfully is on this machine. It doesn't line it up correctly. 
because sometimes some machines they only have centimeters but a little trick if that's the case with your machine what you can do when I mean, you could just do a pencil mark mm -hmm. or something you can also uh, line it up so with um, some masking tape so okay. put a piece of masking tape on yeah good idea uh, to the right side of the needle and then measure your mm -hmm. half inch I did that when I was yeah. learning at the start, and I put it all washi tape yeah. all down the front. Yeah, that's a good bit, idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you can use if you take the uh, extension or the piece off here, um, you could use an elastic band. Ah, okay. Well. Yeah. So good if you've idea. got the free arm, if it's yeah. quite narrow, put an elastic band on it as well. So just a couple of techniques. So. Right. So here we go. So I'm going to start with my back tack. So for those who don't know what a back tack is, it's kind of backwards and forwards just to anchor the fabric. So foot down. And I'm just on a two and a half right. stitch length here. So just a standard stitch length. I'm going to just pull it back a little bit more. There we go. So, yeah, just take your time. So you can see there that I'm kind of stop starting mm -hmm. as I'm going again because it's a curve. A lot of the control does come from your fingers and your hands. So don't be frightened to get close in yeah. because you're going to need that uh, to get the control that you, you need. It's good that you've got the needle down option on this machine isn't yeah. it? You can just keep the Yeah that's down. the, I love that feature on um, computerised machines. We're going to be that... talking more about this machine by the way in 11 o'clock hour so yeah it's an amazing machine. I'm just checking that, yep yeah, that's, I'm still on the right path there, like so half an inch. So yeah, I mean I'm just using a standard needle here and this is yeah, going, going through fine going. actually, yeah. And I'm being really naughty and I've just realised I'm stitching over my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. At home, would you suggest everybody oh, takes them out yeah, as you go? Yeah, Well, it can. Do as face says, not yeah, as she yeah, does. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, I'm being really naughty. You can stitch over your, your pins if it, like a, there, it's at a 90 degree angle. If it's at yeah. a 90, it can go over fine. But I am stopping and starting as well. But yeah, I should. I totally, <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot I wasn't taking them out there. it again with back tack. Okay. Right. So I'll just remove my pins. And we do need to snip uh, some little V's out of the uh, the seam. Why is that? Just to help it curve round. Okay. Yeah. It, it says it in the instructions as well. Uh, so there's a little diagram um, showing the little snips that have come out. So, so just little snips like that all the way along. Is there a point that you, sometimes you do sort of, I know it, uh, a lot of the time when you do curves, you just literally snip into, but at what point depends, would you snip a V out? It depends if it, it, I always get mixed up with concave and... Is it well, convex? Yeah, con yeah I always get mixed which. up with them. So, in this case, because when it's going to be turned through, yeah. it's kind of going to go the other way. Ah. So, that's yeah. Okay. But if it's... I, I always find trouble trying to explain concave, it. That's concave, isn't it? If yeah. it were the other way, convex. Yeah, yeah. Then you would just, yeah, snip into it. Yeah. Just helps it light, especially as well, because this is uh, not massively thick. Uh, it just helps it lay better. And also as well, remember, we're inserting the book run. And I did have a little bit of a fight um, to get it into the sample piece, but it will go in. So yeah, I think that's the next challenge is uh, inserting your buckram. Because you want, we need to maintain that half inch. Remember, you've got half inch, so you've got half inch at the top uh, of the brim. Starting to look a bit like a porcupine. <laughs> so we've got an oct octopus and porcupine. Also, as well, when I was cutting it, <laughs> it also reminded me of Pac Man. <laughs> you know, is it the ghost? Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that's what it reminded me of. 
I love of... learning to sew with pain. <laughs> you go to your classes and be like, right, so I've got my octopus, my porcupine, yeah. my pac man ghost, got this. Well, got in this. a way, I, I suppose in a way, doing it that way visually is probably better, especially when you're learning. It's like, oh, what's that piece called? Especially and... sometimes like, when you say you're learning the autonomy of a hat, it's exactly. like, what's that called? The pink, yeah, exactly. the brim, the yeah. rim, the top, the, yeah. oh, I don't know. I prefer the porcupine yeah. and the, the Pac-Man ghost. It'll look, when I start to do the side piece to the um, the crown, it'll look even more of a porcupine because it's going to have loads of pins in that uh, <laughs> to get it around the curve. So, yeah, spend a bit of time just... It's worth doing this. You know, it's, uh, it's a bit laborious sometimes, it feels, but uh, it will give a better result. They sound nice scissors, actually. You know the satisfying sound of a oh, good old They're lovely, yeah. I think I used these the last time. They're lovely scissors, yeah. And they're, uh, I don't know what make they are, but they're lovely smooth, yeah. And at some point, we'll need to snip these corners off as well, because they're just going to get in the way a little bit. So we'll snip them off as well. Right, so I've got my little triangles. So there is my stegosaur. Is it a stegosaurus? Okay, yeah. <laughs> we're not learning like dinosaurs as well. I think stegosaurus used to look like that. Yeah. Okay. Like the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Right. So so yeah, that's how it should look. And now we're going to turn it through. Actually, I'll snip these corners off now because uh, they're just going to get in the way of that. So it's it's not lying flat. So again, if you look, it's not really okay. That's all right. Yeah. Though. So that's how it should look. So it it looks bigger on one side. It's exactly what we want. So we'll turn it through. So I'm going to give this a little press as well. I will grab my pressing mat. Oh, I bet this press is really nicely. I get scared pressing wool, but actually, it you don't have your um don't have it too hot your okay. iron when you because it can it can kind of scorch it a little bit right. and if it goes a bit shiny right uh, so maybe you use might, a pressing cloth I'll never use a pressing yeah uh, have I got a pressing cloth with me here I'll just take the risk <laughs> <laughs> but yeah honestly use a pressing cloth because it's such a lovely fabric yeah and you wouldn't want to um scorch it. I bet doing your period costumes you worked up with tweeds and yeah or... yeah all sorts of uh, I mean I worked on um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the program yeah please yeah. do yeah I worked on uh, Outlander which is a program oh, yeah. on um, Amazon yeah Amazon Prime so uh, well actually it was a lot of natural fabrics I think it's set in like the the 18th century um, yeah so but there's a, there was a mix of quite using quite delicate fabrics as well I remember I had one of my tasks was to make they're called um, stocks, which is basically like, uh, like the scarf that yeah, I use, yeah. like a white scarf. I had to do, was it how long was it? And I had to do tiny roll hems all around all the edges by Gosh. hand, by hand. That's crazy, isn't and, it? Uh, it's on, you think the detail that goes into it. Well, this is it. It's because it's TV. Um, you can get away with so much more in theatre because I've done I've done theatre as well. But TV, you kind of yeah. it's there. The focus yeah. is there, so everything has to be. Just right, and you can't, you know, I'm sure machine stitches if yeah. it's something from the 18th century. So, yeah, uh, but yeah, I did them for a few weeks. I don't know how many I got through, Gosh. but I was I was brilliant at roll hemming at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, my roll hems were tiny, so it was a good experience. But I quite like a bit of hand sewing. Oh, I'll have out. to watch that now. Yeah. Look out for your rolled hems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was making lots of uh, frock coats on that. I was mainly oh. doing menswear. Great job. So, yeah. yeah, lovely. So this is a bit springy, um, which, which is naturally what wool's like, really. So we do have a little bit of a challenge now to try and get our buckram in. Is there a pattern piece for the buckram as well? In the... No, uh, yeah, good yeah. point. Um, so I just took the standard one yeah. and I uh, drew, it, drew it out on, on the buckram and then took off uh, the seam allowance. So I've taken off half a cent, half an inch all the way around. Right. Okay. So it'll be fight time now. Trying to uh, 
Yeah, they're, they're very different shirts. That was like me trying to get in my jeans this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no, the... that's no, it didn't go in that easy. <laughs> my legs didn't fit in my new jeans. Right, <laughs> so I'm starting to see there again. I don't know if you can you might not be able yeah. to see it. Just it's slightly it's kind of rolled okay. under a bit there. That's what we're after. Can you see? Yeah. 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 So that's that's the effect of making one piece smaller than the other. Right. Gives it such a professional finish, yeah. finish doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just them little it's one of those themes that you look at on a hat and you see well, that on a unless black you, pink Yeah, hat. unless you know what to look for, you don't really notice no. some things. But it's like when I go shopping, I'm like, right, how's that been done? Have they done this? Have they, you know, yeah. And I'm like, you haven't done that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, me, you're being really picky. But, you know, when you're so professional, you kind of, you yeah. do look for them things. But I'm, yeah, that's what I'm like when I'm mm. shopping. I'm going to look inside. Now, it's been a little bit tricky. I might, you could always trim them bits down. But I was also tempted to cut this down again. Okay. Because what we need to do as this goes in, we need to make sure it's snug. But also that we have half an inch seam allowance at the top. Do you want a bend to it? It does, it, yeah. Well, it does naturally. It does curve. kind of naturally curve. Yeah. So it's starting to go in. But also with wool, it does give a little bit. I was hoping it would be slightly easier than that. <laughs> I think the trick is as well to try and get all your spiky bits on one side. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. And I, what I would recommend as well is uh, basing it or uh, tacking it in place. Okay. Because what ideally what we want, again, have a little bit of a fight with it. At the moment, how far have I got? So if I pin. Uh, so, it's 36 minutes past, so we've still got ah, right, okay. 10 minutes. So I've only got, well, I've not got anywhere near half the inch that I need there. So it doesn't say to cut it down, but if you're really struggling, trim a bit. I would trim a bit, yeah, because you need to make sure you maintain that. Um, that seam allowance. So what I might do is move on to this piece. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how you do um, turn of cloth. Brilliant. Okay, We've so, learned a couture mm -hmm. dressmaking technique yeah. there. Brilliant. Okay. Now, so so this is your octopus, which is your crown. Okay. And your side piece. Okay. So let me remember which way around this goes. Yeah. So. So we need right sides together, okay? And what I've done as well, I've just marked, I've stood with a bit of pencil, I've just marked my foot, my centerpiece. So if you, forget, if you forget to do that, you can just turn it in half like that and just draw a line there. Have you notched into the fabric as I well? have notched as well. Uh, so you, again, you can notch as well if you want to. Just doing a little sniff. Yeah. And it's as well, because it doesn't great about these fabrics. They don't fray. It's fantastic, yeah, they don't fray. Brilliant. So, right sides together, and I'm going to start pinning uh, from the top here into there. So I will match them up. Actually, I'll just fold that and snip a notch. Make it a little bit easier for myself. So just a tiny little snip. There we go. So right sides together. Notch, so it's always notch on top of notch when you're working with notches. So the plan is, this looks a bit weird, and you think, how on earth is that going to go in there? But basically, this all needs to be pinned, turn and go to there. Right, how is that going to work? <laughs> <laughs> when I first got it, I thought the same as well. So initially, when I did it, it um, I because. I didn't, I just thought, I'll just have a go, I won't ease it and I'll see what happens. And I ended up with a big amount of this left at the end. So you do, it will fit in, okay? You just need to work with it and ease it in. Again, plenty of pins. Yeah. So it's going to kind of curl round like 
So do you put one that, one either end first? So I, I would, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I usually start. Between. I go so far because once I get, I kind of get confused with myself and think, yeah. how does that go there? So I go so far along. Yeah. Oh yeah, it goes there. Okay. So you might want to do that first because initially I'm like, do I do it there? Do I do it there? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just start off at this end, and it it does go in. It might not look like it when it's on the flat. <laughs> Again, this, again, because we're working with something that's three dimensional. Mm -hmm. When you're working with curves, you've you've got to think three dimensionally. Oh gosh, yeah, it, yeah, it is difficult, isn't it? It's sometimes? like if I don't know if anyone's ever made a bra, but if you think about the cup of a bra, right? On the flat, a, a the cup of a bra would look really odd mm -hmm. uh, because it's you're creating a curve. A curve, yeah. yeah so you curve on curves on the flat. Well, they're going to look strange on the flat. Mm -hmm. um, so which way around am I going there? Yeah, so it goes to there. So point to point. Point to point there. Right angle to okay. right angle. Right. Okay. I'm with just, you. just, just, just to confuse you. It, 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 it kind of like goes against nature. This in a way. It's like it looks. It looks that. Yeah. That's strange. <laughs> Definitely jot yeah. down today's date on YouTube because I, I'm de I'm uh, very much a visual learner and don't absolutely it's great to have the pictures. You've got yep. a full set of instructions. But just seeing somebody physically mm -hmm. do it on a video and yeah. pause and do it along, it's, I think is yeah. invaluable, really. Yeah. Definitely jot down today's date so you can watch it back on YouTube. So, yeah, that's, so that's kind of... So I've pinned the other end there. You can kind of see yeah, how it's coming it's, together now. Yeah, it is looking more like yep. it's going to work. Yeah. So. But, yeah, it does look really strange when it's you're starting to believe you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> starting to trust me, yeah. So, yeah, this is the bit you need to take a bit of care over just to ease it in. So this is your main curve. Bit. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just kind of, as I'm going, I'm kind of like pushing and pressing the back piece just, again, just to make sure it's it's flat. And just go little by little because we want to avoid tucks. And I'm just going to jump back to the other end again. I'm just going backwards and forwards just to see that it's looking okay at both sides. Mm -hmm. So I'm not ending up with too much at one end, you know. So, so yeah, just keep checking that it's... Is it, I don't know if you can see it there. So, so I've just squashed it down. So we need to yeah. ease these bits in somehow. And again, it will go in. And it may be that when you've pinned it, the edge might look, look a bit ripply. Okay. But it, when you come to sew it, it's actually flat. Right. It's always quite satisfying as well. Oh, I've got on that pin. It's always quite satisfying as well when you've done this. Because you look at it and you think, oh, that's never going to go. Yeah. And um, like a sleeve as well. A uh, sleeve head, because the sleeve heads have to be eased in. And a lot of people are a bit frightened of sleeves because of that. But yeah, you do. This is a nice project actually to conquer those fears yeah. of curves. Yeah. Because it's not a full garment. You're exactly. not like exactly, yeah. it won't actually take it's an afternoon project mm. still, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? And it's something that then I think you'll you'll just keep forever. Mm. Or, you know, if you're making for somebody else, it's really nice gift without having to worry too much about all of the fitting and it, like you say, it's actually really satisfying mm. when it's done. It's like, wow. Yeah. I know so many people that would love a flat cap. So again, I'm just working my way around, just trying to distribute it as best I can and kind of flattening it in places and then putting a pin in. Have you made a flat cap before? That was my first one. Oh. Yeah. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, cause I, again, because I'm a dressmaker. Yeah. Well, I do yeah. make some accessories. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it is mainly just garments that mm. I do, so it's actually quite nice to do some little accessories as well. So yeah, the bucket hat that I did last time was um, was really nice, yeah. Because I think as, as well with that, um, well even with this, if you wanted to make it slightly smaller, it could be lovely, a cute little hat for a child yeah. as well. So, oh, yeah. yeah. 
So therefore, you know, uh, when you're on Outlander, they're meant to do millions of rolled hems and you're doing fancy stocks all the time. We'll be making you a milliner by the end of <laughs> yeah, the service trip. Yeah. You'll be literally doing a hat score. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it's actually quite nice for me because I've not, I've yeah. not really done this sort of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah so it's, it's a nice, it makes a nice change. And the, and the quick project, like you were saying before, the quick project, I'm not, mm. you know, starting um, a massive garment that I have. Yeah. It's really quick, just a few hours, it's done and it's yeah. like, it's like, the best thing ever, I think, just a couple of hours and I've made myself something yeah. I can wear, yeah. Get almost there with the pinning. Couple more. Yeah, make sure you've got plenty of pins. Yeah. Maybe uh, <laughs> if you bought something and you want to make sure you make the most of the code midweek five, you get five pound off when you spend over 30 pounds. So it might be the day that you just take advantage of stocking up on plenty of pins. Mm -hmm. I think they work better than um, clips. Do you think at this point? Yeah, uh, okay. clip. Yeah, Picks because yeah, because pins. you need you kind of need the pin to go in pretty much where your your stitch line is going to be. Right. So it's it's in position. Right. So you'll see there. It doesn't look the most neatest. You know, it's got a few ripples going on. But again, we're going around the curve, mm -hmm. and we've eased it in. So that's. That's what it's going to look like. Brilliant. So we're, we're trying to avoid tucks here. And again, it's it's half an inch seam allowance. So I will take it over to finish. Are we okay for time? Yeah, we're yeah. all good. We've got about just over 15 minutes. Oh, right, okay. Right, so. So again, half half an inch seam allowance. Uh, my foot is up. I'm going to pop another pin in there, actually, because it's just coming away slightly at the edge. So starting with back tack, I'll try and remember to remove my pins this time. <laughs> so again, yeah, it does look like a porcupine, doesn't it? Yeah. Everyone's going to remember all these technical terms, the porcupine. The porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> all the couture techniques we're learning today. <laughs> and while you're going around this as well, especially when you get to the curve, yeah. keep checking underneath. Because as you go, you can't see this on camera, but it's kind of pulling uh, the uh, seam allowance underneath. So there's a risk it might get caught up in your sewing. So just every now and then you just need to stop and check that it's not pulled it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Pins out. <laughs> And yeah, I definitely recommend with this fabric as well, uh, because of the interfacing, because it's slightly thicker. Mm -hmm. Definitely make sure that you leave a gap around your seam allowance, because uh, it's just it's just unnecessary bulk, and it, it will make um, turning it uh, not impossible, but just a bit more difficult. I just went over my pen. <laughs> Talking to me. I know. Yeah, you're bad influence. Don't worry. <laughs> Cool. You know the um the the purple and gold one, Laura. Do you know what the composition that is? Do you know what this is. Okay. Well, it's a bit. Um, let's have a look. Because it's a bit thinner. Because you can see my hand through it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if it, it's more definitely more lightweight. It's a, it's see through. So it'll look really nice against. It would look really it'll look nice gorgeous against, against the, the, the lining. Day. But yeah, it is a bit more lightweight and see, but I don't know if you can see the gold. Can it, the, the gold, gold flex? Looks does, so it look really, does it look good on this? Because it, it looks gorgeous, honestly. It, it doesn't do it justice. No, on it doesn't. It does it. It's when, I, when, I was, when I was waiting to come in, I was looking at all these fabric. I thought, oh, I didn't know you were saying that. Yeah, <laughs> I so that like, would look so nice. It's gorgeous, it yeah. Well. I just don't want you to forget about that one. Yeah. I um, but I don't know if you can, can you see that it's see through there. It's a cotton viscose wool mix, right. basically. But yeah. So you can see that it's just. Oh, look at my nails. Um, <laughs> you can see that it's just a little bit... It's slightly more sheer, isn't yeah. it? But it will look lovely next yeah. to the lining as well. You won't see it as much, but um, it's the gold sort of... Yeah, and maker. also as well, when you get your interfacing on there, it, yeah. it will stiffen it where, you, where yeah. it needs to be stiffened because it, it does need to be stiffened in most yeah. of the places, yeah. 
so sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. It's fine. No, it's nice to uh, nice to have a look at it. Yeah. It's, uh, yes, it's because uh, I don't get to see the bundles until mm. I come on. <laughs> like so, I've made obviously the one in the denim type and this one. But I'm like, oh, there's a sparkly one as well. But, yeah. Yeah. Right. The sparkly one and the one with the pink. Where oh, the pink. Yeah, the one. The yeah, the herring. Is it the herring? Yeah. Yeah, with the pink. Yeah, that's gorgeous as well. Lovely girly colour. Just went over my pin again. So yeah, I'm just because I'm getting round to that real curved bit, so I'm having to stop and just check that my the seam allowance underneath is lying flat. Ooh. I think we need to count how many times I go over my pins. Did it again. Don't worry, we won't tell you what. <laughs> right, I'm coming up to a bit of a thick bit here. So, so when I get to my initial, what you can do as well, actually, if you're working with thickish fabrics or gathers, and I'm going to be doing gathers later on, I think, um, you can use a pin just to ease it through. Okay. It helps flatten it as it goes under the foot. So again, you, don't, you won't, probably won't be able to see me do this, but I'm just kind of flattening it as I'm pushing it through the machine. Yeah, it will get easier once I get past this curved piece. Uh, and then now it's kind of on the home straight then. Okay. Yeah, so we're there now, really. How long do you say we've got? Sorry, Kat. About five minutes okay. on demo, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm nearly done on this one. Oh, see? You haven't broke your needle. Ah! It's not, I've not oh, broken the needle. Just just bent just, I've pin. just bent the pin. Okay. Yeah, so. Don't show up. As long as you don't go in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my lack of concentration. I'm going over it again. There. Well, I've just realised I haven't pinned the other side. We could stop it in the halfway anyway and you can just yeah. show what. What you would yeah. Done. So yeah, so I've got to the top now. I forgot to ask you before actually. Did you start did you start sewing at the point, those right angle corners that were met at the start? So yeah. the bit that you pinned at the end. Yeah, so that's where you started sewing. So you want to pin all the way around, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So So that's what it'll look like. Yeah. So you've sewed from that right angle yeah. corner all the way around yeah. and imagine that you keep yeah. going around. So yeah, you, you keep going all the way around to the other side. And when, so you do need to, again, you need to clip this. Okay. And we need to turn it through. And then it does require a bit of understitching as well. So. Can we... I'm just thinking, is it making a bit more sense? Yeah, it see? is, yeah. So the bit we've done, so if we look at, if we can look back at the hat, so it's this seam here that we've, right. we're creating. So so your octopus is on the top. Yeah. And this is your side piece. So where is it that you would understitch? So you would understitch, and it needs to be understitched to the crown. Okay. So I would turn. Can we see? Yeah. So you need to press your, your uh, seam allowance up onto the top, mm -hmm. which is your octopus or your crown. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can do a quick demo if you want. I think well, we got, uh, we're running out of time. Running out. Yeah. If there's anything else you want to talk through. So with the lining, do you do exactly, exactly the, the same? Exactly the same with the lining. Yeah, I've got my lining pieces here. They do need a little bit of an iron. 
precisely the same uh, method. Okay. These don't have the interfacing on though. So you don't, don't interface, don't interface lining. your lining pieces and you don't need a lining piece for your brim, remember, because we've uh, we've got the same fabric top and bottom, mm -hmm. even the face fabric. Yeah. Uh, and what else? Oh, you will need some binding as well. Uh, so if again, if I just yeah. take the hat off. So the binding, uh, sorry, the there's elastic that goes through the back here. Yeah. So you need about 15 centimetres of elastic stitch yeah, along there. Yeah, in the bundle. Yep. And you do need to have some, uh, I'll get some bias binding as well. And oh, that just gets stitched. Yeah. So that just gets stitched all the way around. Yeah. So, Brilliant. Okay. It is all in the instructions. And I think the bits that you say were your tips that weren't in the instructions are the ones it, that I we've think covered it, as thinking well. Thinking back, I think it does mention how to do this, but uh, I'm just thinking of the pattern. You might, the yeah. pattern might, if it's not smaller, because you should have two pieces, one that's bigger than the other. Um, if it's not the case, then do as I showed you, and you trim that little bit off, the two to three millimetres, okay. and then pin it as I've, as I've demonstrated, and that's how you'll create that uh, that roll underneath. Lovely, yeah. thank you. Right. Now, lots of people admiring Faye's top, by the way. It's coming up in the next hour, isn't it? In yeah, our you 10 o'clock show. Yeah, you can't really put you on a... Yeah, I'm too small. I'm, on, I'm only five foot, so you can, yeah. Uh, but that's gorgeous, yeah. It's so um, nice. It's got a tie on the yeah. waist here, uh, which goes into a little tuck. So, I love that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've done, obviously I've done the sleeve option. Uh, the other options are the I think there's a little frilly cap sleeve and yeah. then the one that comes down to the elbow. Loads um, of yeah, it's gorgeous. Though, aren't oh there? yeah, there's tucks, there's gathers. Uh, yeah, it's lovely top. I really really enjoyed making this one. Yeah, really beautiful. Nice. And we've got all of the new fabrics as well, which is very exciting. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Thank you. So it was a bit of a pit stop through, but oh, I that's think fine. No, that was good. Uh, main there. thing was that I need to show you that. Bit, yeah. So you all know how to do that now. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you ever so Thank much. You. We'll see you in an see hour. Yep. Shall we have a bit of a recap of the kits? Do not go anywhere. This is how you get involved. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, I'm excited to see everybody's uh, flat caps on the Facebook fan page as well. Please do post them. It's just so classic, isn't it? And I think we always almost struggle for gifts for gents as well. And I love these. So the denim one, all making them for little kids as well. How cute with their matching little... My uh, nephew wore a little flat peak cap for uh, my wedding. I mean, he was only... He wasn't even one. He wasn't even one. It looks so cute, this little cap. But anyway, you get loads of denim, loads and loads of denim. So, I mean, the half a metre is really, really wide. So you are going to have a plenty to play around with. So if you've never made it before, don't worry, have a go. It was the first time uh, that Faye had ever even made a flat cap. So if you've got a bit of, you know, dressmaking experience, if you want to have a go with the, the tutorial and the instructions that you get, I believe in you. You're getting half a metre of your denim. You also have half a metre of your copen. You have your elastic for the back. You have your interfacing and you get all of your pattern with instructions. Plus, of course, today's YouTube channel, which you can watch back at any point for $19.99. Most affordable bundle, uh, great price on that denim as well. That's your Melden flat cap. We're calling it Tom's. Tom's flat cap, our Tom. Tom's our graphic designer here, and he loves a flat cap, he does. I wonder what the next hat we're going to get Faye to make. Uh, so they're voting top hat. <laughs> top hat and tails. Top hat, what other ones could we do? I feel like a like a big, you know, a big a beach hat. Are you thinking? No, I was thinking like a one that you wear to the to a wedding, like a big fancy hat. 
The race is hat, yeah. The one that Faye was demoing in is gorgeous. This is where, as I say, I really wish we had that green button option to do touch of vision. <laughs> Press your green button now and you can reach in and feel the quality of it. Hopefully you can see it's absolutely beautiful quality. So you're getting half a meter and it's extra wide. Plus then you're getting your lining, uh, which is lovely. You're then obviously getting your elastic, you'll have plenty of that. You get your interfacing, you'll have plenty. Uh, all you need to add is some binding and your buckram. £22.99, once you've added that in, don't forget to add your code MIDWEEK5 and you get £5 discount when you're spending £30 or more. Just because, 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 because the wonderful thing that Neil does. Our Neil, our manager director, he is feeling extra generous for you today. So you add the tweed option. Oh, don't let this one go, by the way. So this is so beautiful. If I show you again, um, it's it's got the most, it's so, so soft. It's actually slightly softer than the other tweed. The other two tweed's definitely more sort of structured. This, oh my word. Well, Kat, if you want this as an outdoor waterfall coat, we've got it by the half metre as well. There's so many people been asking if we've got any of them by the half metre. I'll show you in just a second. So you get half a metre of this already pre-cut. You then also get your lining, you get your uh, interfacing, you get elastic in the bundle, plus you get your instructions and your pattern pieces, all included at £22.99. All that you need to add, as I say, is your buckram and your binding. There was no point in really adding that to the bundle because you might already have some, but if you wanted to stock up, it's, you know, you get a whole metre piece. You'll only need a tiny bit for your brim, for your peak. So this is what I mean. We need to just go with pork pine, uh, Batman ghost. I'm just making up my own hat uh, autonomy. Let's go for the last bundle. Oh, is your lovely red. You get your interfacing, you get your elastic, you get your red. And please, as we say, we had a good look at this with Faye. It's so beautiful. And, and once again, you just can't quite see that on screen, but it's got the most beautiful gold glittery fleck running through. I'm sure that you could see it really clearly in the wonderful picture on the web shop, which Kat spent a lot of time taking yesterday. I said, oh, Kat, how do you feel? It's going to be the one on the web. So she felt really under pressure yesterday taking the photograph. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh look, you can see that. We've got this by the half metre as well. This would make a beautiful jacket, wouldn't it? Maybe over like a little black slip dress. It would look lovely. Okay, so we have got them by the half metre. Lots of people have been asking. I say that, we haven't got the denim. We've got the three, the two tweeds and the, the burgundy one. Okay, I've got Kat, your favourite. Are you ready? I've got, do you want me to tell you the, um, tell you the code? Oh no. Right, that we might not have, we haven't got the graphics, but if we go onto the web shop, if you search the code, you can get them by the website. This is V-I-R-5-2-5. We will show you on the web. Um, sorry that we haven't got it individually, but it is on the website. That's the, can you repeat the code again, Laura? V I R 525. So if you want it by the half meter, we can't do it on air, but it is available on the web. Definitely worth making the most of those because they are gorgeous if you're thinking for dressmaking. Oh, yeah, V I R 525. V I R 525. I've also got, I'm just going to tell you the codes of them so you can find them on the web because if you do want to make accessories to go with the hats that you've bought, this one is C Q R. 528. CQR528 is the code for the one that Faye was demoing with. That's C for Charlie, Q for Quebec, R for Romeo, 528. So that's the one that Faye was demoing with. If you do want more of those, maybe you want to make everybody flat caps. You want to do everybody in your uh, family can all have matching flat caps, if your country walks. And then the burgundy one um, is. Golf, G, Golf, P for Papa, R for uh, Romeo, 548. Jot it down. It's G, P, R, 548. 
is that lovely burgundy sparkly one. Buy the half meter cut by the, off the bolt for you. So if you are taking advantage of that midweek five offer, you're getting five pound off when you're spending 30 pounds. If you love these brand new fabrics, can't show them on air today, but um, they're available on the website. Okay, is that everything? Do you want me to mention anything else, Laura? All good. We're going to come back with lots of more beautiful fabrics and we'll have a bit of a look through the website actually as well and see what you're taking advantage of with that £5 discount. Now it's time to check out. We'll see you right after this. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. That's the same with that. <laughs> <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in the school. I came to fame was a sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. 
Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Welcome back. Oh, I do like a midweek offer. It is a great chance to just stock up on things that maybe you were thinking, oh, do you know what, shall I, shan't I, do I need that? You might as well if you're getting five pounds off when you spend over 30 pounds a day. Thank you, Neil. Everybody can thank Neil on the fan page for that. Uh, you do need to use that code midweek5. If you're speaking to the customer service team, shout down the phone midweek5. They will know what you mean. Um, uh, or of course add it to the little product code box on the web shop. You can only use it once so do make sure you're making sure your total is over £30 and you'll be able to make the most of that deal. Now uh, I was going to start with this but it's already sold out. Remember eagle eyes on the website at all times so if you uh, are waiting throughout the show to see things that are launched. For example, the pattern that we've got with Faye coming up in the next hour is a brand new pattern and it's already selling. Uh, we've never seen it before and it's a gorgeous top with the tie. It's really flattering. I love that with the tie there. So um, if you do want to check out anything on the web shop, anything that's coming up in today's show, I will show you how you do it in a minute because it me that's already sold out before it's gone to air. They have a brand new pre-made bias binding. Should we do the blue? The blue spotty is lovely. Now, obviously you can make your own bias binding, which I absolutely love because it means that you can correspond it with different fabrics and a lot of people find it quite therapeutic to do. Sometimes though, you just want to get your bias binding there done. If you're doing the hat, for example, and you've spent hours, uh, you know, making sure it's cut right and interfaced and gathered and doing all your pinning, and then you get to the part of bias binding, you just want it to be made. This is going to look lovely with a denim, it's going to look really nice with um, loads of projects and it is already pre-made bias binding. Now you get loads and loads and loads, you're getting two and a half metres of your blue polka dot bias binding. It's already done and it's 199 for two and a half meters. No wonder the pink is completely sold out. If you were thinking of, right, I just need, maybe you bought two of the early birds and you just want something to tot it over the edge to be able to get five pound off. It's like you're getting this for free and you know a couple of pounds off as well. So it's definitely worth making the most of it. The finished size, it's 20 millimeter width by binding, which is two centimeters. Thank you. <laughs> Two centimetres. I was going to have a look in inches. What is that in inches? 
Let me have a look. It is, yeah, just under an inch, three quarters of an inch. Three, three quarters of an inch it is for one pound ninety nine. Uh, brilliant price. I know that we've got limited quantity on this one now as well. If you do just want to stock up your haberdashery stash, ready to go, maybe to go around curves like I'm thinking if you're doing oven gloves, anything with a curve like that, you need obviously the bias binding to be able to go around curves. So this is ideal. If you're, I mean, well, there's loads of, of projects that this is going to be great for. Binding on your flat cap for one. Any clothes, if you want to do any lovely uh, binding around clothes or the tops of bags. Cap, you could have put some nice binding around the top of your bag. This would look lovely. I know that we don't talk about the top of your bag. <laughs> She's made herself a fantastic bag and you should be very, very proud of yourself. It's human nature, isn't it? I think it's human nature that we always point out the things that we've done wrong. We can't just accept a compliment. I said, Kat, your bag's amazing. She was like, look though, I've done this wrong and I've done this wrong. It's just what we do as humans, isn't it? <laughs> but no, you've done really, really well. Right, that's £1.99. Should we do the red next? This is going to look really lovely with any of you sort of kitschy projects. I'm thinking like, you know, those natural fat quarters that we've got, the Hessian style ones are going to look lovely with um, the red spot. You've got two and a half metres of your bias binding for £1.99. Remember, use the code MIDWEEK5 to get £5 off when you're spending over £30. So this might be just the reason to get over £30. Two and a half metres for one ninety nine is an absolute bargain, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And it's all pressed so beautifully. Don't get me wrong, I do like making bias binding. Obviously, you know how you make bias binding. You fold these in like that. So it's a strip of fabric. Fold it in and then you just give it a really lovely press. Did you do it like that and then fold it in again to make your straps? But obviously then it will sit around your fabric. Let me show you, for example. Part of it will sit around the one edge. Is this going to look quite Christmassy, do you think? This would be quite nice for Christmas, wouldn't it? So one part will sit over there, then the other one will fold around. So then you'll have a really perfectly neat edge going around. And obviously because it's on the bias, you're going to be able to go around corners nice and easily. Curves, nice curves, nice and easily. Just £1.99 for the red bias binding is 20 millimetres. Uh, wide. So it's a nice thin one, actually, if you're doing dressmaking projects. If you're doing the hat, I think this is going to be ideal. I've also got a narrower one, which is in blue. Well, I don't know if you got the pink, by the way, before we even came to wear that sold out. So the blue one's really narrow. This is a 12 millimetre. This is a polycotton bias binding and it is um, 12 millimetres. Slightly narrower than the other one. Let me show you the difference. So the other one is a little bit thicker. Just £1.49. Again, you're getting two and a half metres. Two and a half metres of your sky. Beautiful blue for £1.49. Do check out as soon as you can. There's no point in sitting on air. It costs us more in air time than, than what it is um, on the screen. It's £1.49. So it's definitely one of those just to remember. And hopefully we're going to be able to keep these on our web shop all the time. Now, when it comes to getting discounts, £5 off, why not indulge in making some really special Liberty projects? I adore this range. Those of you that know our producer Hannah, when it was her birthday, we did a, a birthday show takeover and she just did the flower show range. And she had choice of everything and she just did the spring flower show range. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's G-E-Y-V-53. Look at the colours on this, they're amazing. Oh, those of you that got all the Gutemann threads, I'm just thinking the brights would look brilliant with this. So if you've got a uh, Gutemann thread, you get this and you're going to get something else potentially. Once you've got over £30, you're going to get £5 off. So if you think about it, it's like getting a half a metre of Liberty for £2.50, isn't it? <laughs> if you want, I, but I always, I always think about it as... Um, 
things, no, things that I'm saving. Do you know what I mean? I always, whenever I get discounts on things, I think, oh, I've just got that for that price. So I like the thought of this being your extra little tree. It means you can make the most and more. If you're buying, um, right, how many meters? If you're spending, it, uh, hopefully we've got enough to go around. If you're making dresses, maybe, a really special Liberty dress, that would be amazing. Bags. I know that um, Kat was just talking about making a bag. Making just a simple tote bag. If you're starting to sew, you might, this might sort of, you might be similar to me. When I was starting to sew, I talked to Jane Greenough about this with cross stitch because I didn't want it to look like I was a beginner sewer. Do you know what I mean? Even though I, I, I am when I was st starting to sew, I thought I don't want it to look babyish. So using fabric like this to make a real simple tote bag or to make little purses or to make a cushion, just a, a simple cushion. I mean, Liberty cushions are a fortune. You can pay so much money for them. You can make your own very, very easily as your first project. And it's a Liberty cushion that you'll always have and always remember. Today, seven pound 49 and a half meter. That is your mammy fabric. I am thinking though, with those Gutemann threads, it's gonna look amazing. This is called Primula Posey. This is the Winterbourne House range, which is one of my favorite Liberty ranges actually. Um, it's, uh, it's close to my heart because it's, uh, Winterbourne House is actually here in the Midlands. It's in Edgebaston, just outside of Birmingham. And uh, this is taken from, uh, a collection, an inspiration from the arts and crafts movement. So a similar sort of time to Morris & Co. If you love Morris & Co, I think you'll love this collection too. It's beautiful. If you have a look online at Winterbourne House, you'll see exactly what I mean. But £7.49 for these colours are beautiful, aren't they? Once again, these really lovely burgundies. Really nice. Do you know what this would look nice with? I'm thinking if you uh, manage to get... You could even have it as the lining of your cap, couldn't you? Ooh, it looks so cool. Seven pound 49 for half a meter, you would only need half a meter. And you could do a really lovely fancy flat cap with this as your lining. What's that, sorry? Seven pounds 49, half a meter. Let me show you half a meter looks like this. I love those ochres and the burgundies and pinks. It's so pretty. It's one of my favourite collections. You know, when you, lo you look at Liberty, I always um, talk to friends who don't even know sewing, don't know uh, lots of designers uh, that make quilting fabrics. But what I love is that everybody knows Liberty. You might say Moda to some people, very, very famous in the quilting world, but majority of people who I know will not know who Moda are. Whereas, um, Liberty, we all know, Morris & Co, it's a similar sort of similar sort of thing, it's so popular. This is my favourite, I'm going to go as far as saying. The reason why is because it's classic Liberty. This is what I know as being Liberty London, that absolute ditzy floral print with the little black outline to give you great uh, depth and lovely texture. It's so, so delicate and so pretty. This is where I'm thinking, right, if you buy one half metre, remember that's two foot quarters. If you've got any of the Wendy Gardner books, if you've got any of Debbie's books, uh, the, the ones where she made some great gifts out of scrap uh, fabrics, even the beach houses that we did yesterday on the draft excluder, would look amazing with just one half meter you can make loads from this what about nice little scissor keepers or pin cushions a nice little storage tab or a, a, a coin purse seven pounds 49 for your suffolk fields from the flower show it's a flower show summer range there we go uh, for seven pound 49 correct me if i'm wrong i don't know if this is true uh, but i remember i was told quite a while ago so it might have changed but i don't think you can buy Meet, uh, half meterage in Liberty. I think the minimum that you can buy is a metre. It might even be more than that. But I don't think you can go into Liberty and buy any of the fabrics by the half metre. And this is your quilting weight, which quite often when we're talking about Liberty prints, you might be looking at a Tana lawn, which is a lighter weight. So if you are into patchwork and quilting, this is absolutely ideal. You can still dress mate with it. It will look beautiful as a little, as more of a structured dress. For a bag, this would be lovely. 
seven pounds 49. Don't get me wrong, I love the Tana Law and I think it's so beautiful. It's got a time and a place, but this is um, definitely more structured. You're going to be able to make some great bags with this, whereas with the Tana Law, you, well, you'd have to use quite a lot of interfacing. It's beautiful. I wonder whether the flat cap as well, having like a cotton flat cap, it would look different. So if you loved the, uh, the last one, if you managed to get it and you've already got that pattern, why not make the most of it? If you've already got half a metre of one of your solids, you could have, say, the coral as your lining and have a Liberty cotton as your, your main cap. We did the bucket hat as well. That would look lovely in Liberty. That would look so pretty. Uh, the roses. I can imagine our Kerry from Living in Loveliness loving this fabric. She, I mean, she's a huge advocate of Riley Blake, of Liberty. She uses Liberty in virtually all of her kits. But this is one, I know she has all of her dresses made. Are you watching, Kerry? I can imagine our Kerry wearing a dress with this. It looks so pretty. This is your Ascot Rose fabric from the Flower Show Summer range again. It's 7.49 and a half metre. How about doing some new uh, scatter cushions for sofa or, or um, do you know the little pads that you have on uh, seats in the that tie around wooden chairs? They're really expensive, you know, to buy. Seven forty nine, and I'm guessing you'd you'd definitely be able to make. I would have said two from half a meter, depending if you're using a different colour for the bottom of the seat pad. Such great value for money. What about something for the garden? How opulent to have a gardening stall in Liberty. Anyone looking over the fence would be like, oh, oh la la. Because you could odor coat it, so you could wipe it. Can you tell I love odor coat? I love odor coat. Catcher said, I think you really like odor coat. I mention it most days. I've only seen it here once. I've only seen it here once, and I literally mention it all the time. Seven forty nine half meter for your rose, and they, they are so pretty, aren't they? So pretty. It's so good. Did you launch it, Laura? Look at that. Buy the half metre as well. Even if you take, right, tell me if I think this is a silly idea. If you've got cream or white bedding and you just want to zhuzh up, because you can applique it with it as well, can't you? So you could cut out like beautiful, almost like bouquet or something, a, a shape from it, and applique it onto pillowcases, even just a stripe down the one side of pillowcases. That would look so pretty as well. 749 and a half metre, you can't go wrong. And it's uh, some of the only fabrics that we have left from this range. We struggle to get more in if I'm being brutally honest once it's gone if you are thinking for larger projects or if you've got some at home already and you think right actually I might need more I would stock up now because I don't know once it's gone if we're going to be able to get any more these two very very popular as well so we've got it in pink and we've got it in blue colorway they're both beautiful the pink first once again this is your Emily silhouette so when I talk about limited quantity I mean it more than ever with this one you've got two and a half meters left just take the lot Take the lot. So hang on, what does that take us to in total? If you're buying two and a half metres, that's five units you need to add to your order. Five times 7.49. Oh, there you go, it takes you to 37 pounds, so then you'd get your five pound off. Absolutely brilliant. For how much Liberty Fabric you're gonna be able to make loads with that. It is the very last two and a half metres. And once again, like I said with the Suffolk Fields, you've got the lovely delicate floral print, which is classic Liberty, but then reinvented with these great bright colours for your flower show range. If you're using any of your Guterman threads, I'm just thinking we've got some beautiful colours that are going to match perfectly with these. You got the early bird today. They would look lovely. And I'm just thinking if you do want it to go a bit further, if you're using this colour, or to be fair, I'd put it with either of those. If you get half a metre of the lighter one, half a metre of this one, and then even just half a metre, because these are, we'll go through them in a minute, they're so affordable. The coral one matches the flower perfect, doesn't it? 
and it's going to really go a long, long way. And then using some of these nice bright threads from the early bird. Love it. So, well, I am getting better, I think, at complimenting. You know, I'll always say this. I, I, I always sort of say I'm really bad at putting colours together, but I think I'm getting better. I think I am getting better. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's a bit easier when it's in front of me. When I'm on the computer and I look at the thumbnails on the website, I'm like, I have no idea what colour I should go with. So that's the uh, Emily Silhouette in pink. We've also got it in blue. Oh, gorgeous. These are really lovely, aren't they? Obviously, a lot of people are making uh, their own masks at the moment as well. Imagine having parts of it being liberty like this. Oh. Colour of the year, Panto colour of the year, classic blue. Right, so let's have a look at which, what's next year's colour of the year? Aqua, aqua. What do you think? Is this going to work? Which one would you go for? The light one or the... I think I'll go with that one. <laughs> Any of your blues, to be fair. All of your blues would look lovely with that. That is your Emily Silhouette in blue from the Flower Show Summer Range. Remember, we've got a bit more quantity on this one. I have got a bit more quantity, but um, I would still make the most of it. Oh, the blue sky blue bias binding would look lovely with that as well. If you are wanting to bind any of your curved projects. That's what half a metre looks like. Remember, that is, that is a lot of fabric. It's two fat quarters. And we've got books on the website. I don't know what I'm looking around for them because they're normally, uh, <laughs> I feel like they're normally on a shelf. Books on the website, um, they are fat quarters. They are fat quarter books. The Wendy Gardner ones are brilliant. There's a home one and there's a gift one. So if you are thinking of, right, trying to get your order to that 30 pound mark, once you spend over 30 pounds, you get five pounds off using the code midweek five. I know I sound like a broken record, but there's so many people who are tuning in all morning. I don't want you to miss that. You need the code midweek5 and you'll get five pounds off when you spend 30 pounds or more. Shall we do the which ones? Let's do the white on white. We've got the cream one as well. Okay, let's start with the cream. These are beautiful for classic quilters as well. Uh, GZYV19. Right, this is so beautiful. When you look on the website, the picture is in black, uh, just so you can see the print on it. But it is, this is cream, uh, this is white on cream. It says white on white on the website, sorry, on the graphics. But I just want to show you the difference that that one is like a white on cream. On the website, it's on black, just so that you can see that print. So you can see the pattern. You can see it really clearly, can't you? £6.99. I think it's so pretty, it is so, so beautiful. Lovely for quilting. That would make a great quilt backing, actually. If you're not um, background. So if you you don't want a solid color, but you, st you still want to add a bit of texture and detail, it's subtle, but it works so well, doesn't it? This is a Holly Silhouette. And even though it, it is white on white, it's a slightly more cream. You are seeing that white stand out more so on, than on the next few that I'm gonna show you. Look at the price point of it. I think they're ones I would definitely still just stock up of. We've only got six meters of this one left. There's nothing else quite like this one. It's only six meters of that one left. That's really nice. But for cushions, cushion backs, backing of cushions or linings of bags, if you want lovely detail when you open a pocket and you've just got beautiful detail. That's really nice. Nice next to plain cream as well. That looked lovely. The next one is, um, yes. So, right, this one is white and white. Can you see the difference? Can you see what I mean? It is white. It would look beautiful for dressmaking as well. It's so beautiful, isn't it? That white is gorgeous. 
just six pounds, 99 a half meter and your chance to buy off the bolt. So we will cut it to whatever, whatever size you want, 6.99 a half meter if you want three, um, if you want three meters, for example, add six units to your order. It's so pretty, isn't it? Six pounds, 99 a half meter. Yeah, I don't know whether or, or you are going to be able to see it. Um, it's one of those, get it home. You could see it clearly, couldn't you then? Uh, just six pounds, 99 a half meter. Uh, we've also got swirls. It's in the light as well. It's in different lights. So when I'm holding it here, it looks like a solid plain fabric. But as soon as you catch the light, it's really beautiful. I like that a lot. Um, this is different. I've not seen this either. These are all brand new to me. Now it feels like this has got a slight dressing on it. I'd give this a wash before you use it if you do want it. I suppose quilting with it is going to be ideal. But if you are dressmaking, which you could dress make with this as well. Six pounds, 99 and a half meter. It looks like white fabric there, but in a second you will see those lovely swirls. Just about, you can just about see it. It's one of those that when you get it home, ah, oh, there we go, you'll be able to see it really clearly. It's so gorgeous. I do think ideal for if you want to use it for, for background on um, for background on uh, on any cushions or, or quilts. Just six pounds, ninety nine half meter. You're right. You stubbed your toe. I told you I was accident prone. It's because I looked at you. I've been so accident prone the last few days. I banged my head on a walk yesterday. There was a real strange tree in my defence. It went across the, the footpath like this, big trunk. I just went dunk straight into it. I was looking down and went straight into it. And then, um, yeah, then I poured the boiling kettle water onto my jeans, just on my leg when I was making tea this morning, didn't I, cat? And then I've heard my... Doing too much. Too much. Too accident prone. Six ninety nine. This one is ivy, so you can see uh, it, it's got again like a swirly print with little leaves. It's very pretty. Well, I say a strange tree. I'm just trying to defend myself. I didn't just walk. When I told Kieran that I walked into a tree, he's like, "How did you walk into a tree?" I'm like, "Well." It wasn't a normal just tree. <laughs> it was coming across the path like that. <gasps> oh, I was with my friend and she was like a few paces in front of me. And she said, the weird thing is I really nearly said, mind your head, and didn't. She's like, I'm blaming me because I should have told you I knew. And she said, I even thought in my head, maybe I should say, mind your head, and didn't say it. So yeah, I blame her. I blame her. Oh, gorgeous. Right. So with your mode of these are going to look great as well. Or with any of your sort of traditional, maybe you're doing red and white quilting. <gasps> they look so pretty. I've got the Mackinac Island. These are super duper duper limited now. Moda. I talked about Moda just a moment ago. When um, the, I think this is all the collection that we've got left now, you know, and we cannot get it again. So we've got the Paisley prints and we've got the stars. Let's do the navy paisley. Oh, I'd go with maybe a blue copen, I think that is, or one of the darker blues, cadet blue. That's lovely, £7.49 a half metre. Look at the detail. Look at the, all those different colours that you are going to be able to... Uh, that you're going to be able to contrast with. So you could pull out on those greens or the reds, the blues. The greens are lovely, aren't they? Or again, use it with your, your white and whites. Seven pounds, 49 
a half meter for your Moda Mackinac Island, which is uh, an island in America, in Michigan. Can you look to me like I was making that up? Why? Seven pounds forty nine a half meter for your navy paisley. We've then also got it in a lighter blue. Remember, that's half a metre. There is really limited stock on all of uh, the Moda Mackinac Island ones left. Now, it's only got four metres left. So if you are thinking larger projects, I always like the paisley prints. I think they look beautiful when they're quilted as well. They look really, really nice. Down to the last three and a half metres. It is the most limited of the range and we cannot get it back. So if you've already bought some of this and you're thinking, right, I might just need a little bit more or I want to make a matching bag or I want to make a matching cushion to go with a quilt I've made. There's only three and a half metres left. Which one's cyan? This one. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's a bit too bright. What do you think? No, yeah, I think that goes. I'd still put it with the darker blue because it's similar to, you know, the little flowers on here. Depends on what you're making, doesn't it? It depends on what you're making, if or what mood you're in. Kat's saying absolutely if you want it lighter, brighter or darker. 749 a half metre. They'd make lovely storage tubs. For your workroom, they look really, really nice. I always think just changing some of your soft furnishings and changing some of your uh, bits and bobs, like I say, um, storage pots or um, just accessories from around the house, it can change the look of it completely. You don't need to redecorate everything. I know a lot of people have. We've all been spending a lot more time at home, haven't we? Looking around like, oh, what can we do? What uh, what shall I do to make this? Um, Look nicer. You have a new windows put in. Have a new windows. Didn't you have a um, new, did you have all the house painted outside as well? I swear you were having the outside painting. Your dad painted the outside of the house. Uh, we've also got uh, two of the stars in the navy blue. These would make lovely, lovely, um, lovely storage tubs. I would like to do a whole bedroom with this sort of theme. This is cool, isn't it? You could do a laptop case. You could do like a sewing machine cover. You could do a little seat pad, cushions, maybe like a long lower back cushion. Little accessories as well. Bean bag that goes round. What about like a bolster cushion? Because it will go round. It would look really cool in a bolster cushion, like a rounded cushion, wouldn't it? What did you say? Sorry, cat. 7.49 a half metre. Thinking dressmaking. I do like a stripe, a vertical stripe in dressmaking is very slimming, isn't it? How would this be to pattern match? I like the detail that it looks like spots and stars, doesn't it? But actually, oh no, 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 no. They're tiny little stars. They're tiny little stars between the, um, the stripes. Hang on. There you go. How cool is that? Attention to detail. Remember you're looking at Moda. I mean, Moda are, are such big players in the world of quilting fabric. They are beautiful quality. 100% cotton, machine washable, There you go. Can't wait me to put my hand there for perspective so you can see the scale of the print. I've got huge hands. I've got really, look, I've got really chunky fingers. You're all thinking it, I know. You just didn't want to say it. I know. <laughs> Brilliant. Right now we've got the stars and stripes. Oh, by the way, 
I wanted to mention this hour as well. Because we're doing this midweek offer, this is a chance to think about potentially what is on the web shop. I know obviously we try and bring you as much as we can on air. We're limited to uh, obviously four hours, so we can't show you everything that we have in stock, but there is always all the tools, more fabrics. Uh, if you just type in 100% cotton, you can see all of the fabrics that we've got. We've got a, a bit of a, a, we have got, you know, a, quite a, a good extensive amount of fabric this hour. But if you type in 100% cotton on the web shop, there are loads of solids that are going to match in. In fact, I can show you. So if you go to www.sewingstreet.com, don't worry that it takes you to Jewelry Maker. That's our sister channel. Uh, so if you type in on that search product name or code, 100% cotton. There it is. Oh, she couldn't find the percent on the keyboard. So luckily it just uh, found it for us. If you scroll down from three pounds, little as three pound 49, you can get gorgeous solids, all of the different colors. You've got pinks and blues, you've got peaches. I mean, pages and pages of um, of different solid colors. They're all of all solids available. Of course, there are designer fabrics on the website as well. This is just by the half meter, all of your solids. You've got brand new ginghams. They only came into stock, I believe, yesterday. They're really lovely. Uh, some pattern fabric there. There's also a huge array. If you go on to um, our, back onto our, can you go back onto our home page or come back? So if, um, if you go onto our homepage, there's a whole section of categories, basically. So you can look through books and tools. So there's rulers on there. I'm thinking if you were umming and ahhing about getting the Stripology Extra Large ruler yesterday, um, it was just over 60 pounds. You're getting another five pounds saving today. So if you go back onto the website, we're on the homepage now, scroll down past the Watch Live page. If you click play, you could watch us there. Uh, shop in our catalog. They're all sectioned off into categories. So the plain fabric was the one that we were looking at. You've got pattern and designer fabric. There's panels, books, patterns, sewing machines, which we're gonna be having a look at, a couple of the machines that we've got on offer at 11 o'clock. Tools, storage, haberdashery, kits. There is so much on that web shop and the code is eligible, not only for items that you see on air, but anything on the web shop, you'll get five pound off when you're spending over 30 pounds. You can only use that code once, so use it wisely. It's only for today, it's only until midnight tonight. Just a little um, thank you uh, for joining us. It's uh, our Neil feeling extra generous this morning. Five pound off when you spend 30 pound using the code midweek five, that's midweek five. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to know what you've taken advantage of. There's people who are buying, as I say, the stripologies, lots of books going as well. I think if you've bought some fabric or you've bought the early bird or anything from today's show, lots of the thread packs, I'll talk to you about that before the end of the hour, in fact. Okay, have we done the graphics for this one, Kat? Yeah, thank you. Right, so we've got some more mode. This is the Three Sisters range. I just find them really classic. That's a lovely colour. This is the floral script. Uh, so it's got really lovely detail with the writing in the background. Do we know what it says? Is it French? I know that's so bad, but um, yeah, we just, none of us know French. I think between all of us, we know different languages, but not one of us knows French. So because we don't know what it says, we're all presuming it's we know German and Spanish, yeah, Italian, seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. Your memoirs flourish, script on silver. So it's like um, a duck eggy blue. It's really lovely, isn't it? Seven, 49 and a half meter. We're going to fly through the next mode of fabrics. Rosebud on natural. Do you know what? This hour I thought I've got plenty of time to indulge in all of these fabrics and it has just flown by, hasn't it? £7.49 for your three sisters rosebud bud this time on natural. We've only got five metres this one left. And when it's gone, it's gone. This is, I think, it's going to be last chances to get them. Especially now we're offering the code, everybody's going, oh, I might as well stock up, might as well stock up. 
749 and a half meter. It's great to see everybody stocking up on plenty of fabrics. Pattern is selling very, very well, by the way, for the last, uh, for the next hour. The pattern's already selling out, just so you're aware. If you do want the pattern, that top is lovely. You saw Faye wearing it earlier on. Um, do make sure you check out as soon as you can. This is your trellis indigo. Indigo, go, go. 749 and a half meter. Go, go, gone almost. Last chance on these again. There's five meters left. We're against the clock now and uh, we're against all the savvy bidders. I think everybody's woken up bright and early with us this morning, all bright eyed, bushy tailed, ready to go. 7.49. Oh, I'm just so excited to, um, to get making. Oh, I must say, it is a lot easier to get up when it's nice and sunny. The birds are chirping, aren't they, at five o'clock in the morning? Although it's still quite unearthly, isn't it? What time do you leave in the morning, Kat, sorry? Ten past five. Oh, that's what time she leaves the house. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. I won't tell you that my alarm goes off way after you even leave. Deary me. Hence why, probably when I get here, I'm really accident prone because I'm still not awake. Maybe I should wake up a little earlier. Right, this is your, um, yeah, FSW167. They already got it. This is a, got a lovely, almost mottled effect. It's got a solid red in the background. Really classy. This would look lovely with yesterday's range. We launched a brand new range from Oda. <gasps> this is what's exciting. Yesterday we had so many brilliant buys. But if you're thinking, right, I missed out on the, uh, the brand new Moda fabric. If you want to make the most of any of the items for today and you're thinking, do you know what? I just need another £10 in my order to get a £5 discount. Why not have a look through yesterday's show? If you just keep scrolling down underneath us, all the products from today's show are under us. And then it'll be under that. You'll see yesterday's products. So it's definitely worth having a good old scroll through the web shop and having a look. If you love this Moda range, you'll also love the one that we launched yesterday. It was inspired by um, vintage uh, antique quilts. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's seven pounds, 49 and a half meter. The last one in this range is the Rosebud. This is your Rosebud. Again, it's got a lovely detail in the background. This is what Moda are great at. They think about all of the things that we need as quilters. So texture and depth, different scales of print. The background looks like a duck egg blue, but actually it's slightly mottled. It's really pretty. Beautiful quality cotton, and it's just 7.49, a half meter. Again, extremely limited. And we're gonna fly through the solid fabrics as well. I keep picking up all of these solid fabrics. And as I said, if you type in 100% cotton on the website, you get to see them all. Um, I'm going to go through some of the colours that we've got available on the web, starting with Cadet Blue. Cadet Blue, half a metre looks like this. I always just think if you're spending, you know, $7.49 or $7.99, $8.99 sometimes on your designer fabric, it's definitely worth making the most of um, the solid fabrics because we're less than £4 a half metre. So it means that it will go the extra mile. This is your Cadet Blue, which would look beautiful with any of your Liberties. I'm thinking this Liberty, which is your Emily Silhouette. This Liberty would look beautiful as well. There's so many gorgeous colours that would go with your Mackinac Island, you could do it. That's your Cadet Blue, £3.49. See what I mean? £3.49. And it looks lovely with Emily Silhouette. Sorry, Kat, let me move it out of the way. Oh, yes, please. That's probably a bit easier. Any liberties? It's just going to go a bit further. Any of your um, moda? Darker moda? Is there any that you want me to put together? Message the studio and I will. We've also got, should we do the lighter blue? As it is, of course, aqua is going to be 2021 colour of the year. This one's called sky. 
This would go really, really nicely with the, um, the binding that we saw earlier on, the bias binding. That would look really nice with the binding as well. With any of the binding, if you manage to get the fuchsia pink, that saw that really early on, that would look lovely. With the sky blue binding, with the thinner binding, that look pretty. Again, if you want to put this with your liberties, that matches like the lighter blue that's on um, the Emily silhouette. I keep reaching for that one. I do love it. So that's your sky blue cotton. 349, always useful to have in your stash. And if it does mean, right, I just need a few more pounds in my basket to tot over to 30 pounds, then it means that you're going to get five pound discount. So it's like you got half a metre of fabric for free and some. Okay. We've also got your, let's do the last blue. This is called cyan, cyan blue. It's like a powdery blue, really beautiful. This definitely will go with the uh, Mackinac Island. Is that how you spell cyan with a C, cyan? Hmm. I don't know why I thought it was, I don't know what I thought it was, if I'm honest. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever written um, cyan. I thought it was C-I-A-N, I would have said. But I am awful at spelling. Right, let's do S-O-L-J-24. Raspberry, this one's called. Oh, I'd definitely go with these three. Emily Silhouette. Oh, Emily Silhouette looks perfect with. Your roses would be beautiful. Right, there's only a metre of this left, I believe. There's only a metre of it left. Lovely for linings, great for, uh, you know, using in with as smaller pieces to make your designer fabrics go a bit further. That's raspberry. We've also got your other pink. Lighter pink. That's a coral. Oh, coral looks great with so many. We've seen this with quite a few kits, actually. It was the coral. Okay, so this one. I always think coral is like a really nice soft colour that goes with every skin tone. So if you are thinking for dressmaking projects or bags, this is lovely. I think this is the same colour that Cara had in the bag project yesterday. This is your coral and it's lovely quality cotton. For 3 49 I must say it's beautiful quality cotton. I just thought during this showcase, whilst we're offering £5 off, it's definitely worth reminding you that we've got all of these 100% cotton fabrics on the website. We've also got the last pink, which is your bright one, pomegranate. Pomegranate, which is hot, 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 hot pink. 349 and a half metre. Oh, that's intense, isn't it? Lovely depth. I know that we're flying through these, but as I say, sometimes it's hard to see on the website, isn't it? It's hard to sort of envision, right, what colour is going to go with the fabric that you're trying to match in. I also really like, I also really, really like um, having solid fabrics like this and doing some really cool quilting. Maybe with some of your Gutemann threads. Gutemann threads would look lovely. That's £7.49, 100% cotton of your amethyst. It's like a nice light Rose de France amethyst. Our Laura's learning about gemstones as she's working over on our sister channel, Jewelry Maker. She's always thought amethyst was darker than this. You can get darker amethyst, yes, Laura, but also Rose de France from Brazil has got lovely colour like that. Oh, wow, look at... Well, I've not seen this colour before, this mint, and it's really like mint, mint, mint. No, we didn't. Was it in a bundle? What with? The green bundle, I mean, my word, it's so beautiful. It looks gorgeous. I think amongst other greens, it looks more tonal, doesn't it? Whereas that is, it's quite bright green, actually, I must say, it looks brighter in real life. 3.49, we've got time for one more, which is one of your neutral colors. It's called tan. We've got beige, we've got ivory, we've got white. We've got Biscuit on the website. We've got lots of lovely um, colours, but this is going to go with everything, isn't it? Good mix of fabric. Great to have a practice sewing. If you're thinking, right, I want to start sewing. I, I, I'm learning to sew and paying $7.99 or $7.49 a half metre, I'm scared to mess it up. Why not 
make the most of this and you can make yourself a bag like a you know like you make a, a twelve first with your dressmaking why not with a bag uh, if you're going to do a liberty bag for example make it up first in this it's not going to go to waste because it's gorgeous fabric anyway have a practice with it brilliant so coming up in the next hour we've already had loads of people checking out on the pattern to make this top if you haven't already checked out I would check out now because I've got a feeling that I could be coming back from the next hour saying the pattern's already gone. There's loads of you checked out on it. It's a gorgeous top. We've got great bundles and we're going to get Faye back on to demonstrate how to do all of the techniques right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello, my name's Jenny McCreary and I am a guest designer on Sewing Street. A little bit of an introduction into me and who I am. I've got some questions here I'm going to answer. Um, what do I specialise in? Dressmaking, 100%. It's my favourite thing. Made this wee guy behind me here. I absolutely love it. Um, bikinis, underwear, dresses, hair accessories. Does that count as dressmaking? Maybe not. I love homewares as well, to be fair. I'm not an expert in homewares. I would say I'm an expert in dressmaking. Um, quilting is the one thing I do not do yet. There's still time. I'm really worried. I don't want to get into quilting because I know that it is, uh, there's just so much to it and I'll get I'll get right into it and then might leave dressmaking behind. I'm not really finished with dressmaking yet. So dressmaking is my thing. I got into sewing. This is quite a common one, actually. It was for Halloween costumes. So I wanted to be the Tooth Fairy. My mum had a sewing machine, she knew how to use it, and I used it to make a tutu. That was the first thing I ever made. And then I realised I loved 
clothes, I loved fashion and I then went on to study at university after school so I studied fashion business and now I do it for a job, what a dream. Something unexpected about me that is so unrelated. Um, probably back in 2011 I think it was when the royal wedding was about to happen in April. It was Kate and Will's wedding. Um, a customer of the place I worked at the time challenged me to make the dress live so nobody knew what the dress looked like and I made it in eight hours live while I was watching so everyone else was having a nice wee day watching the royal wedding and I was like sweating it was roasting and um, some newspapers came to watch as well yeah that was interesting I made it in eight hours a uh, sewing tip that I would share with you guys one thing that I share with my customers a lot is not to get too hung up on, on trying to learn everything. You will never you will never know everything about sewing. It's impossible. There's so much new stuff happening all the time and new techniques and new tools and all that sort of thing. Um just give it a give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? See as long as you're using a fabric that's not like wild expensive and it's not gonna be too much of a loss if it doesn't quite go to plan, then just give it a go. You'll learn so much just by giving things a go. Um my claim to fame that is hard one. Oh wait, obviously my claim to fame is being a guest designer on Sewing Street, right? That's it. I do actually tell people that all the time when they say, tell me something unusual about you. That's it. Um, another claim to fame, a sewing related one, I own the UK's only sewing tuition franchise. I suppose that's nice. No one else has that. Um, I've, I've done other TV before as well. I've done some game shows. Um, you can look it up if you want. I have done some game shows before. I love TV, it's great fun. I am looking forward to sewing with you guys soon on Sewing Street. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Was all like this then? We're literally running around with five seconds to go. Whew, we're back. Welcome back. We're ready for an amazing show. Thank you so much for everybody sending in lots of lovely messages. Really grateful of the five pound discount today. Love a midweek offer, don't we? Now this top, I'm going to make a statement and I think this is my favourite top we've ever had here at Sewing Street. I love it. This is really my cup of tea. I'll show you. Um, so we've got two different sizes. We've got from 6 to 14 and then we've also got option of size 14 to 22. But just look at how beautiful these are. So you've got an option where you've got a shorter sleeve. You've got an option with a cap sleeve like a frilly cap sleeve you've got a longer sleeve they've got this lovely tie which I think is really flattering it really cinches you in at the waist and it looks beautiful I'm, I'm imagining lots of lovely fabrics and obviously you can have it longer you could have it shorter uh, it's got a really lovely um, sort of scoop neckline uh, and all of your size requirements are on the reverse. Now, I'm not sure, Laura, whether you'd be able to have a look and see if the image on the web, they've actually taken an image of the... I don't know whether it has got um, this, basically, on the website so you can see the size requirements. It is on the back of the packet. If you've got any particular... Um, if you are at all wanting to know whether... Um, what, how much fabric you're going to need. We have got some uh, we have got some fabric bundles put together, but you will need the pattern on its own. Yes, it is on the uh, it is on the web, so you'll be able to have a really good look at this in full depth on the website. They've already been selling. Okay, in this size, size six to fourteen, UK size six to fourteen, we've got nine left. I'm just going to tell you now because that will sell out probably before we even get to the demo. Um, we've got higher quantity than the other one. If you do want size 14 to 22, then we have it available as well. It's exactly the same with the mid-length sleeve, long sleeve. I know we're going to talk through with Faye, but what Faye said to me before we came on is this is a brilliant pattern to have a real good go at lots of skills that you might have learned in any of your dressmaking classes or along your dressmaking journey. So it's got gathers and tucks, it's got the tie, it's got concealed zip, it's got darts, it's got some really good techniques. Still don't be put off by that. I, I asked Faye what sort of level of dressmaking you need to be to have a bit of a, a tackle at this. And I mean, on the back, it, it, it does say, 
easy. Whereas I, we think still intermediate sort of skill level to be able to have a go, as we say, the things like a zip and some of the gathers, you've got lots of lovely attention to detail, which I think makes this, this top looks, look really, really designer. And then in different fabrics as well, you're going to have uh, a real good sort of play around with it. I love the different options. They're all listed on the back of the pattern, which you can see on the website. So that's £9.99. I think it's going to be a pattern that you don't just make the once. I think it's going to be one that you make quite a few times, especially with some of the fabrics that we've got today. I definitely normally have a firm favourite of which one I like, and it's changed completely. So when Faye walked in, I was like, yeah, that's the one I want, this one. Now you're getting two and a half metres of fabric that we've bundled together. It will be cut as two and a half metres. So this is the one that Faye has been wearing. It's beautiful. She's done the long sleeve option with the tie, that lovely scoop neck with the gathered around the sleeves and gathered around the shoulders. And can I just show you for $38.99, remember, use the code MIDWEEK5 and you'll get another £5 off it and look at how much fabric you're getting. Now we've bundled enough that you can make the largest size on the pattern, which is size 22. You will have plenty of fabric there to have a real good go with and it's beautiful. We'll talk about the different fabrics and, and you know, um, how, I mean, they just drape beautifully. Perfect for this pattern. But that's two and a half metres of fabric two and a half meters of fabric ready to go for $38.99 and it's so pretty it really really is um, okay having like your own designer top as well it's such a sense of achievement when you have that moment when people say oh, where'd you get that from and you can say you made it I mean oh I'm so excited for you to be able to do that oh gosh I'm pulling all your thread across <gasps> there we go sorry that was sheer panic in my voice uh, we've also got the light blue. This is the one that uh, Faye's going to be demonstrating with and it's gorgeous. Look at this. Now this is slightly different. Do you know what the composition of this is, Laura? This is really lovely and silky soft. I don't know whether you can uh, sort of see that print. It's beautiful. Laura's favourite, the beautiful blue. Isn't it gorgeous? We'll have to talk to Faye about direction of print as well and you have to sort of think about it. So I suppose it doesn't really matter too much, does it? They're like bouquets of flowers, which whatever way you have it up. This is 100% viscose, two and a half metres. Digital print. Digitally printed, £38.99. And once again, you're getting two and a half metres already pre-cut into that uh, two and a half metres. It's such a lovely fabric. Even if you've got a pattern in mind, that isn't this pattern and you're thinking, do you know what, I've been waiting for a fabric to go for a certain pattern that I love at home. Laura's saying there's a dress that I would love in this fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? £38.99. I love that. It's so gorge. Right. We've actually all... Oh, so this fabric on its own by the half metre has sold out. So the only way of getting it is in this bundle. So two and a half metres. Even if you don't need two and a half metres, it's always fabric you're going to use, isn't it? It's so pretty. You'll be able to make... Uh, yeah, definitely with your £5 off especially. You can use your £5 off code for that one. I also think this is my favourite. Because you've got such... Um, well, I just really like it on the yellow version where because it's... Uh, quite a detailed top. You get to see the tie really well. You get to see this lovely waterfall sleeve. This colour is beautiful. I've got a dress in this colour and I always get compliments on it. It's not, it's not bright orange. It's beautiful. This is honestly one of my favourite colours to wear. It's coral. It's a corally orange. It's, you know, you can get coral towards pink. So our solid coral um, in our solids is more pink, isn't it? The one that we did in the last hour. Whereas this is definitely leaning on the orange side. It's beautiful. Uh, is this viscose again? It's so, so soft. £33.99 for two and a half metres. What I like about it as well is when you wash it, you can literally just hang it up, put it on the line, dry, and it really doesn't need to be ironed. It's so beautiful. It's 100% viscose. You just go over it with the iron. It, it just doesn't increase again. It's so beautiful. £33.99 drapes beautifully and I think would look lovely with that tie in this, um, in this fabric. So, are they all available by the half metre then, Laura? How is it? How On the web shop, 
have a look because we're doing the bundles of two and a half meters, which is enough to make the largest size of the pattern. The pattern is individual, which is selling out very, very quickly as well. Uh, we're going to get Faye on and we're going to talk through all of the different techniques. So this is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, we're all admiring this top, aren't we, Faye? Mm. This is so beautiful. So nice, yeah. You can't it's really so see it because I'm short. <laughs> but I yeah, it's, it's just too. yeah, gorgeous. I it's love it. a, I love the yeah. big sleeve. I know it's a little bit big for me actually. This is the 14, so okay. I would normally make a smaller size. But actually, the oversize is actually I quite like nice. So oversize. I know you said the the smaller ones sold out. So maybe yeah. go for the bigger one, and yeah. it still look all right. Yeah, Cause, and because you've got the tie on the waist yeah. as well. Pulls you in, uh, gives you nice, nice shaping. Yeah. So, yeah, I love that tie. Yeah, I think there's literally only a handful, a couple of the, the smaller size left. So if you do want that, grab that. I think there's two, there's a couple of those left. So if you do want to make the most of that, you can. So we're now working with a slightly different yeah. feel. We're trying to work out. I think yeah, it's that's... a bit crepey, this one. Yeah. Uh, slightly different feel to this one. This is like lovely, silky, really yeah. lovely feel draped to oh, it. Now, it, it, that would scare me, if I'm honest. Really? If I'm working with it, I would think... Does it still behave itself? It's quite yeah. yeah. And sleeping. if you look, it's not really, it's not really fraying either. No. Um, I think maybe that one frayed maybe slightly more than this. But they're not. Right. They're actually. I think the, the the composition of all these, they don't seem to fray very much. Uh, so yeah, it's it's uh, it just needs some careful handling because it okay. you know it's not a cotton you yeah. know so it might misbehave a little bit every right. now and then. But honestly, it was it was lovely. And oh. it, I've had a really you know such a lovely result with this. I was really pleasantly surprised at, at the result when I, I when I looked it. at it, I put it on looked in the mirror first time but no I completely finished it put it on and I was like oh well when I looked in the mirror now we're going to try and get as much of a demo done this out because I know that you say when you looked at the pattern you were yeah. pleasantly surprised again yeah. at going actually do you know what I'm using so many different techniques yeah. excited to show everybody yeah um, lots of techniques yeah so what in the front have? yeah so in the front it's got so where the I don't know if you can see yeah so the ties they actually go in a tuck so right. it's a tuck not a dart Oh, in the front, okay. so they're going to get concealed in there, and they're gathered uh, just along the part that that gets inserted there. And at the back, it's got two long waist darts. darts. So, so darts, and, yeah, so lovely shape, yeah. So you've got two darts at the back, tucks in the front, gathers uh, on your ties, gathers on your sleeves, gathers on your cuffs. So yeah, there's there's loads, and there's a invisible zip as well. So there's loads and loads of techniques that you can you can use in it. So yeah, it's brilliant. So I was, yeah, I was really pleased. I thought, oh wow, this is, if you've never Maybe you've never made anything before and maybe you've just practiced lots of gathering diff all them different techniques and you just want to find something that you can apply them to. to it's a really good one to go to go for, really good. Great. Yeah. Okay, so is this the front of the top? So yeah, so this is the front. Your so... pattern placement looks perfect. Have uh, um, you done that yeah. on purpose or? Uh, it, yeah, it was happy probably a happy accident, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks lovely, doesn't it? It's, yeah. uh, it's come out really well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous repeat pattern this um yeah so lovely uh, quite silky and it, and it yeah. moves really nicely so yeah so it's v-shape neck uh, and what i'm going to demonstrate first is how to do the tuck on the front mm -hmm. and uh, insert the um tie so let me grab my tie piece uh, where's my tie piece gone oh no if i haven't moved anything have i Ooh. where have i put my tie i just had it in my hand Oh, I was going to say, I didn't fold it up with this one, did I? No. Well, I can move on to something else to start with if we need um, to. We must have it here. It must be So here. you just had it in your hand? Yeah. It's slippy sliding. Yeah, it's slippy sliding. Well, what I'll do first, I'll show you um, 
how to gather. Okay. Now, I've normally when people are gathering, um, they'll put two rows of stitching in, like I've done here. So this yeah. is the bottom edge of uh, my sleeve. Okay. What I've actually, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see it there. I've actually put three rows of stitching in. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll demo that just on the sleeve head. Uh, and there is a method to this madness. Um, so when you when you gather, you want to do something that's called control gathering. Right. So when it's at the machine, you have your two gathers inside your seam allowance, mm -hmm. and then one actually on the the part that you're going to see. So on the actual garment itself. So when so, you do it, when you're doing those those stitches, are they zigzags? They do, these are just straight stitches. Straight yeah, stitches. Yeah. So on a long stitch length. Long I'll just stitch. turn my machine on. Long stitch length. So number five. Mm -hmm. So I'll just set myself up uh, as a number five on here. So yeah, as long as it'll go, and I should have a couple of marks. Let me just yeah. make them a little bit clearer for you. I think we found the missing tar. Ah, <laughs> someone else wandered off with it. <laughs> well, I'll just continue showing you the, the gathering that I've done. So again, I'll just go... That was quite funny, wasn't it? I don't know how it ended up over there in the panic to get the set ready. <laughs> I'll just go back over these so you can see. So, so when you get, so with your sleeve, when you're gathering your sleeve head, you should have two points and it will show it on the pattern. There'll be two circles and there, that's uh, the position where you need to gather. Okay. Right. So kind of circle to circle. So make, when you're cutting out, make sure you mark them points uh, on your fabric. So taking it over to the machine, I'm going to sew two rows of stitches inside my seam allowance uh, as close together as possible and when I've done that I'm then going to sew another one actually outside my seam allowance so in the actual garment itself okay what this will do it'll help us when we take it to the machine it'll help us gather it as we sew because sometimes one of the reasons why I'm suggesting this is because sometimes what happens with gathers is when you get them to me you gather them down you take them to the machine clamp the foot down the clamp actually squashes them right. so what can happen is you can end up with your gathers looking like tucks. So it's very easily done. Uh, so this is just a, a technique to help possibly avoid that. So it might be something you want to give a go. Uh, so I'm going to start off now. I'm going to do, so I'm on my long stitch and I'm just going to quickly just stitch these three lines so you have an idea of what I'm referring to. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, it's gathering, gathering before I've even pulled it. So I'm not worrying too much about um, being precise in terms of where I'm positioning them, as long as it's inside um, my seam allowance. I'll just snip that and make sure you leave. So don't use your thread cutters on your machine at that point. Uh, yeah, leave you want it. you want to you, you can still use your thread cutter, but make sure you leave quite a bit okay. of thread so it's easy to gather down. So I've done one there. Can I change my? Um, no, I won't change it. It's just gathering, I need to change the, um, what do you call it now, the dial. Tension. Oh, that's, okay. that's what I wanted yeah. to say, I forgot the word. Yeah. yeah. So it was gathering a bit there as I was sewing, so I do need to change the tension, but uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure where the dial is. I think if you lift on. the top of the, where the stitches are, oh, there we go. Okay. on the right, so that's ah, it. There we go. Ah, there. there we go, yeah. Right. I'm not going to fiddle with it, actually, because I might, <laughs> in case I do something I shouldn't. So I'm going to go in now. And as close as possible, I'm going to do a second row. And again, this is uh, on in the seam allowance where I'm positioning this. And also, don't do a back tack. Okay. Very, just... very importantly, do not do a back tack when you're gathering. Why is that? You want your ends loose so you can pull them and gather them. Yeah. It is possible, another way you can do it, where you would... If you do want to do a back tack, you can back tack it at one end and leave the other end open and then just gather it down right. like that. You can do that. Um, but on this occasion, I'm uh, leaving them both open. Okay, so that's row two. Again, my tension's playing up a little bit. But we'll persist. So yeah, I've got my two rows there. Right. So they're both inside 
um, my seam allowance. I can see that there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do an, a third one in the actual bit that you'll see. Still staying with the five. Still staying with the five. With the five. Yeah. So yeah, again, try and keep everything as close together as possible when you're doing your gathers. You're not afraid to sort of stop and reposition yeah. your fabric, moving it around, holding it in place. Don't back tap, just leave it open. So then you've got your three rows of stitching. Okay. So that's so that's basically what, what you should do with that. I mean okay. you can you can just stick with the two yeah. if you want to, uh, but that's just another technique of of helping you gather. So I'm just gonna now move back to uh doing the tuck. Right. So I've got my piece here. So this is your uh the tie. So the top edge of your tie is the curve. And this goes along the bottom. Mm -hmm. And if I grab my front piece, so it will be positioned over here. Are there and notches so of where? It there needs are to notches, yet, yeah, So there's I've marks on the back. So when it's finished, it will be gathered down like that, and it will come over that side. Okay. Okay. So if we turn over. And I've also I've already pre-marked uh, where my tuck is going to go. Yeah, so you can just see mm -hmm. the marks there. Okay, so I pre-made my tie, and I've gathered it like I've just demonstrated there. So once again, done the three lines. So yeah, I've done the three lines outside of the yep. uh, So now what we need to do is start to pin it into position and then probably I'd say tack it as well because it will move around. I've not seen a tuck like this before. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's it's quite unusual. Yeah, because yeah, you're concealing uh, a component of, of the garment in there. So it has yeah. a function yeah. as well as adding to the shape. So right. yeah, it's, it's a bit different. But it's nice, again, nice one to do, but if you've not done that before, yeah. it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, if I just grab my pins. So I'm just going to pin visually just so I can see. Uh, so I'm kind of going in on the line and then out on the line. And, and I'm just going to put it in the points at either end just so I can see where they are and I can then correctly insert uh, my tie. So yeah, you're kind of folding it over. Nearly there. So is it when it's slippy out? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, nearly. No, it's nearly there. Is it important to get that accurate? Yeah, because well, the thing is about tucks and darts. They're there to add shaping, but it's also important for the size because if a, if it's if you stitch it kind of inside the line, it'll end up the garment will end up too big. Mm -hmm. If you stitch beyond your line, your garment will be too small. Okay. Um. So there is, it is quite important to get them right. But okay. again, for these, because it's an oversized garment. Uh, there's a bit of give there, you know, it's it's not the end of the world if you're slightly off the line or whatever. So, so I've just marked visually there so you can see uh, what I'm playing with. So I've got to tuck uh, this end into here. So I need to gather it down, tuck it in and then stitch it down. Right, okay. Maybe. So let me just double check, have I got that the right way? You've overlooked have. the one edge of this as well. You, we, would you ideally at home go all the way around with you? Yeah, up? yeah. Uh, it doesn't fray too bad, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Really? No, no, yeah. it's just looking okay. But yeah, I'd go around the whole thing, I would yeah. say. Maybe not the hem, you don't need to worry about the hem. So, uh, 
I'm going to start gathering. So when you gather, you want to gather the threads from the same side at each end. So I'm going to grab threads from the top. Bottom. I'll tell you which, there's no right or wrong way of doing it really, because it will just be the same either way. So if I, just, I might just use a pin actually, so I can pick them up properly. a bit tangled. I'm just going to pull them a bit just so to start off and just move them others out of the way. And the same at the other end so I'm just going to pick up the top threads at the other end. So make sure you do it the same side yeah, for both ends. Do we have a tape measure handy at all? I don't know if we do. Not to worry if we don't because one, yeah, one other do. thing one other thing you can do um, is measure. Oh, my wonderful assistant is about to give me some. Thank you, lovely. So just, uh, so no, just another thing to mention is that uh, it doesn't always say how much to gather it down by. Usually it'll say, oh, I'll gather down by 10 mm -hmm. centimetre or something. Uh, if it doesn't give that instruction... Measure your tuck. That's just a good measure idea. it. Yeah, measure your tuck. So, and I'm turning my tape on its side there. So it's 10 centimetres. Precisely, so precisely 10 centimetres or 4 inches. So now I need, I know that this whole thing, including my seam edge, um, my hems, needs to come down to 10 centimetres. And this is where we start to try and do a bit of control gathering. So just try and make sure that it looks even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you say, a bit of trial and error. Right? Yeah. Um, at home, you spend a bit more time just making sure you're happy with it looking nice and even. Right, and again, I'm just going to. It's not that far out. So it's just a case of playing along, playing and just distributing them. I can't say that word. Distributing yeah. your gathers as equally as possible. And it does take a bit of doing sometimes. You do need a little bit of patience with it. And once you get it under the machine, uh, you can actually use a pin to help. Uh, well, I'll demonstrate that when we get it under the machine. So let's measure and see what that's looking like. A little bit short now. So, so yeah, just keep, because it's... It's easy to, to over pull it mm -hmm. and if you don't know by how much, if you don't measure it, sometimes you do get a bit trigger happy when you pull it and you gather it really, really tight and it actually looks really nice when yeah. you do, but actually that might not be... Won't fit your yeah, piece. it won't fit your piece. So, uh, so yes, yeah, just keep, just bear in mind how much you need to, to do it by. So this is a slightly tricky bit because we now need to try and insert it into the tuck. It is rather tricky. So you want to fit, get it fit in between those two pins? Yeah. What I might do actually is just move them there. So I'll open it back up so I know where it's going to turn. You could just put on so you can see there. I'll just yeah. yeah. And am I doing that the correct way? It needs to be yeah. It needs to be that way, right? Yeah. So remember, we stitch it in that way, and then it folds forward like that. Ah, yeah. It is worth sort of looking at what you want it to look like at the end result, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, again, that's it. That can be the tricky thing about sewing is that is. Knowing what order to sew thing in, sew something in, and 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 thinking about the end result. Yeah. Sewing in itself, I don't isn't hard. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's a skill that you need to learn. But for me, I think over my years of doing it, it's yeah, it's it's the thinking ahead, planning ahead, and knowing how to finish something off to make it look professional. But it, it does require a bit of forward forward thinking, and that only comes with practice. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to position. So it's there, isn't it? Yeah, my seam allowance is there on my stitch line. I 
might just tuck that in. So if I grab my needle and thread. I think that fell down when you did were... It? Uh, oh, so I did see right. it. I thought, I wonder whether you're needing a hand sewing needle because I did Ooh. see it fall. <laughs> oh, it disappeared. I don't oh, know. no, here it is. <laughs> ah, here we go. Right. Yeah, so we'll tuck that in. Otherwise, it's going to end up really fiddly. I love how precise you are. <laughs> it comes from doing yeah, all of these. It's the, really yeah, attention intricate. to detail. It's Sometimes it's a, I'm a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, especially in theatre, because uh, when I trained, I, um, oh, when I was doing some training, I kind of like became a, I was taught how to do it properly, which meant I became a stickler for detail. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you haven't got time to do things. For, you know, yeah. if you're on the, if something's for theatre and it's going out, going out on the stage, um, it doesn't need to be perfect. But I've done I've done more TV than I have theatre. Mm. So I've always got my TV head on, thinking that needs to look right. If you know, it's not yeah. So Oh, don't worry about old TV. <laughs> we always do the opposite way around, like, oh it's telly sewing. It doesn't need to be as perfect as it does in real life. <laughs> oh, another thing I'll show you as well, while well, I've got your attention. If you're doing some tacking, sewing with some um needle and thread. A quick way to do a knot, so rather than doing a knot in the traditional yeah. way, you can wrap it around your finger like that, then push that under thread over the top, and then pull it down, and oh. you end up with a knot. That's a nice quick way to do it. Yeah, right? so anyway. So yeah, that's, you might see that's me doing tip. that from time to time. Right, so let's get this whacked in, technical term, whacked in. The thread, I'm, I think it's a gutterman I'm using here, but uh, I'd recommend actually using one of them softer cotton threads for your tacking. Um, mainly because obviously gutterman threads are a bit more expensive. Um, and they sometimes go easily through the fabric. So as I'm going along, I'll just, let me just pin that end there. So I can still see my mark where I need to be. Are we out of time for cat? 20 minutes? Okay, yeah. This is the, the fiddly, part. fiddly bit, yeah. Once it's in, we can sew it in and that's it. Yeah, you can probably take a bit more time over this than me. You definitely think, though, yeah, definitely worth at home, tack it in, spend that bit of time yeah. hand tacking. You know, a lot of people, I'm definitely like, okay, I'm like, oh gosh, I'll just whack it on the machine. Yeah, well, this is spend it. Time it's, and picking yeah, then. yeah. It's not quite right. It's like with your, um, with the hat I demonstrated, you know, if you want to tack that in first because it's curved, it might, yeah. you might find it a bit easier. Right, so very quickly tack that in. So we turn that back over. You can see there where it's going to go in. I'll just pop that pin back in there if it wants to go. So when, when I open this back up, you can see there that I that third row of stitching I put in. Yeah, you can still visible. see it. So what this means is when, it, it's a little bit tricky with this because of the technique here, we're inserting it into a tuck. But what this allows you to do is as you sew, you can actually pull the gathers as you sew. Oh, okay. So that's controlled gathering. So again, it's just a little technique that, that you, you, can be, you can use and apply if, if you know about it. So I'll just... Bang this under the machine very quick. Pop the pin in. There we go. Do 
Do you need to alter your stitch length back? Or... Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> So we're still on a five, aren't yeah. we? We're going back down to two point six. Two and a half, yeah, two and a half, three, yeah. something like that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Again, I'll just pop another pin in. Make sure I'm sewing on the line. Yep. Can you still, you'll still get the same gather effect using different fabrics as well. Mm -hmm. You still, yeah, use um, the same technique with different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Sometimes you could you could put you no know, if you're making like curtains if I say you're making curtains you could put you know the you, can, you have the gathered curtains yeah. that you, sometimes you need to put lots and lots of rows several rows right. in uh, to help maintain that gather so yeah um, it's a technique you can apply With lots of projects yeah nice. there's another there's another technique I could I won't show you today but yeah. there might be an opportunity at another point where you can gather using a zigzag oh but, lovely and, yeah uh, you, you pull it down on a thread but hopefully I, I might be able to show you that at another time. So, uh, yeah, just check that we're all okay in there. Ready to go. So, yeah, let's start with the back tack and stitch all the way down. So, you're stitching along your red line now? I'm stitching along that long red line, yeah, and I will remove my pins. Ideally, what you could be doing, cause it's a bit hard on this occasion, but you could, as you're doing it, you could be pulling your gathering uh, stitch if you need to. And finish with that. There we go. So... We should end up with that. Nice. Yeah. So, and then you can remove that other stitch, uh, that extra stitch that you put in. Oh, so okay that's, then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you unpick all them and um, take out all your gathering threads as right. well. Right. Brilliant. Yep. So then yep. you repeat the same on the other same side. Same on the other side. Yeah. And that's how you create the tie waist. Yeah. And I love that because you could put that into all sorts, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. You can yeah. use that. So yeah, if you've got a real, if you've just got a garment that's a bit doesn't have a lot of shape to it, a bit oversized, you could just add that in just a tiny little tuck. Brilliant. Easy. Yeah. That's really lovely technique. Yeah. Now, so I've never seen that before. Yeah. So what other bits did you want to show? Uh, I was going to show you um, a little bit of the sleeve. Brilliant. Yeah. Because um, the sleeve. I'll just grab my sleeve. Is that the correct piece I've got there? Yes, that's my sleeve, yeah. So it's the bottom of the sleeve that I wanted to work on. So when you're putting your cuff in. Okay. So if I grab... I know we're not going to have time to show how to insert the zip, but it does also have a concealed zip, yeah. which I believe there are literally about six of them in stock. Mm. So if you want the concealed zip, definitely um, check out on that. And, and they are... I don't think I've got it on the... Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know if you've got a standard zip because uh, we could do a comparison but but yeah the no. if I just sh show you so if you've never used a concealed zip before uh, the front looks like that yeah. so the teeth are oh, actually on the back yeah yeah uh, yeah so that's your front and that's your back and when you come to stitch it in I could show you just very quickly So this is my back piece. So from the front, you would actually sew. You would undo your zipper and you would place it in your seam allowance. Yeah. And if we can get a close in of that, I've actually put some tacking stitch. Just, I don't think you can see it. I've put some black stitching in just so you can. Yeah. yeah. So, the method is to, p to open your zip up, lay it on the front of your fa the, the face of your fabric, and then you would use a concealed zipper foot. Uh, I don't know if we we don't have the zipper foot. I don't think do we? But then you would get as close as possible with the help of your concealed zipper foot. And I would recommend it does say that in the instructions as well. It allows you to get really really close, and you would stitch that uh, down and to the. I think on this one we're not going right the way to the top. Right. Uh, so you would start a little bit lower down, 
and then what happens when that's stitched in, it will then turn under. Nice. And that's how you end up with a nice concealed zip oh, finish. That's brilliant. Yeah. So oh, hopefully no, I, I love concealed. Yeah, hopefully I'll, I might be able to show you that another time. Fab. But I, I actually personally I think it's easier to put in concealed. a concealed zipper than it is a standard zip. Right. Personally. There you go. <laughs> oh, I love them. Yeah. And they do look so fab, yeah. don't they? Yeah. If you learn how to do it. Okay, so the sleeve. Sleeve. Uh, is that my sleeve? Yes, it is. Sleeves more gathers again, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to just quickly stitch up uh, the side seam because when you put your cuff in, um, if you can see, if I open this up and show you on my cuff, it's actually turned up. Can we see that? Yeah. So we need to turn that under and stitch it down. So that's what I was going to show you. Nice. So I will quickly, and I've also marked, so I've got a little red mark. So we stitch from the underarm here and we stop here. Okay, so we've got all that left at the bottom where we gather the cuff, okay? So I will add a couple of pins in. So I'm just going to start by pinning and making sure that my points match or my marks match on the sleeve at the bottom there. Got about ten minutes left. Yeah. That's enough time. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. It's all slipping. Doesn't want to play. There we go. So I'll just put pop a couple more pins in. And with this one it's uh one and a half centimetre seam allowance. Uh the only difference is on the hem, I think it's one and a quarter. Right which is about just over three centimetres. And you can lengthen and shorten it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm five foot tall. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm not much taller. I think I'm five one. <laughs> the end of my life. Um, yeah, but when I made this one, I didn't I didn't do anything. I just made it as is. But I could have shortened it. Uh, but it actually looks all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's a little bit big for me. It's a 14, so I could have uh, used a smaller size, but it looks all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you can... Shorten it at the waist uh, and in the sleeve. Um, and yeah, and hopefully at some point I'm, I can maybe show you how to do that on the pattern. Yeah. So that'd be nice to do. Uh, yeah, so I've pinned uh, my uh, seam for my sleeve. So I'm just going to quickly stitch that down. So again, that's uh, one and a half centimetres. I do like these sleeves. They're quite, without being too... Um, over the top, yeah. Uh, theatrical. They still got yeah. a nice room, yeah. haven't they? I yeah. do like a nice big sleeve, especially after. Well, that's it. If it because if it's you know if you want to go for that oversize, I mean it, it'll look all right, you know, and you've got that shaping as well. So don't be worried about if your size is sold out. You know, go for the bigger one because um, yeah. this is too big for me, but it it, it looks great. I'd still wear it. So yeah, very quickly. First we oh, my pin again. <laughs> Very quickly just stitch this down. So I'm coming up to my mark now and I will do a back tack when I get there. One more stitch. So yeah, if you do get there and you kind of think I'm going to overshoot it. Don't be frightened to stop and maybe hand crank it. Just so you hit your mark and then go backwards. Okay, I'll give this a press. There we go. So yeah, ideally use um, a sleeve press. Got my pressing board. Oh, my fabulous assistant, she's bringing me a sleeve press. We've got a choice. Brilliant. We've got a sleeve board, we've got a sleeve roll, yeah. we've got a ham. These are all the great, this is a really great time as well. Yeah. So go onto the website, have a look at the different pressing tools, have a dash room, bits of bobs, because they are really useful. Well, this you is used it. this last You're, time, Yeah, you? I mean... You're going to get even better results by using the right pressing tools. Okay. You know, so 
I'd invest in some of them as well because you'll, you'll use them all the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you can be the best solar in the world, but if you don't press stuff right, it's not gonna, it's not yeah. gonna look right. Have so. a look on the web and see what's available in terms of pressing tools because we, um, yeah, especially today, what we've got the five pound off code. Press from the front as well. I'll just do a little bit at the bottom because that's the bit I'm going to be working on. So you use it, you're opening your seams as well? You press yeah, open. just press them flat, press them open. Yeah. So when we come to do the bit that I showed you before, so this part here, it's a case of folding it back. I kind of turn it on, in on itself a couple of times. So. And if you need to press, then press. So I could press that now. Can you hear her in there telling you to watch your fingers? Did she? Oh, right. <laughs> I can't know. The glamorous assistant. <laughs> and then turn again. And just be careful to leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom here. Because I've kind of, yeah, I've kind of gone a little bit too far with my gathering stitches there. So they're going to get caught up, but when you, if you're doing it, stop a little bit further right. away because you want them free to um, to gather your cuff. I'll do the same on the other side. So this will actually it'll tell you when the instructions to do it, and then it'll kind of go to nothing so as you press it, and as it opens out again, mm -hmm. it'll open out flat again. Right. So again, let's do one side. Oop, a bit of a tuck there. And then fold again. If you need to tack this down before you sew, then do. Pressing always helps with these little, mm -hmm. these little bits. Now, so we'll fold that back and I'm just going to put a couple of pins in. Ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch as far up as I can go and then go across and then back down again. side as well. I'm going to move the piece around the other side so I'll pin it from the other end. So if I'm starting, it's another thing you need to think about when you're sewing is where you which way around you're placing your pins. So that can be fun sometimes yeah. when you get to the machine and you've put your pins in the wrong way. Yeah exactly yeah, yeah. that's what we were saying earlier on yeah. with the hat. It's easily yeah again it's easily done it's just because it's often an afterthought mm -hmm. you just want to Get it under the machine, get it made, you know, so. So, let me just pop it over there just so you can maybe see a little bit better what I've done there. So, it'll get stitched up here. Yeah. And Ideally, what I'm going to do then is go straight across yeah. and then back down. Right. But yeah, if you need to um, tack it, then tack it. Yeah, I think this is a little fiddly bit of sewing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's details like this that I think that make it look so mm -hmm. professional. Yeah. I might just put another do you make yourself clothes? I don't, no, not really, because I'm always making, making the people. Well, it's, it's, it's been so nice coming here because it's like, oh, we want you to make it, I want you to wear it, but I'm, I'm not allowed to keep it though. That's yeah. really, <laughs> I really want to keep it, but it's actually been really nice because it's like, I feel like I'm making stuff myself, even though I'm not really. Um, yeah, but. Uh, you need to. I know. Set some time aside I know. To make some I mean, time well, that's it. It's, I think I will. Now I'm, now I'm here doing it a lot more. Uh, I think I will do it, yeah. 
do it a lot more because a lot of the time I'm patterning stuff from scratch. You know, I'm doing my own patterns and things. Or yeah. oh, you need to bring some of your patterns on. Yeah. Watch this. Well, space. I can show you some patterning if you want to. Uh, I can show you how to do a block or whatever. So. What do you mean, like drafting your drafting own drafting your own blocks and oh, yeah, I can do stuff. That'd be good. Do, yeah. So. Oh, this has been very fiddly. Just pinning it so that you're able to yeah. go across straight. Yeah, it's more just a visual guide that actually. So when I get there, and also as well, when you get to this point, another point to make is that it's a bit of a weak point here. So what I would encourage you to do is back tack over it a couple of times. Good idea. Uh, so where you're going to be opening your exactly. So your cup, exactly. It? So it is yeah. a weak point. Okay. Uh, so very quickly, I'm going to put this under the machine. all my gathering la threads out the way again I'm just on a straight stitch right so I'm happy where I am I've taken that pin out and another trick if you're doing a really thin hem like this uh, is to, as you're sewing to kind of pull it flat okay. don't stretch it just pull it flat you are the queen of little hems, <laughs> aren't you? Roll hems, small hems, narrow hems. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just again starting with a back tack. Right, starting to move a little bit. So again, I'm just lifting my foot. steps one more there we go and I'll take my pin out so I'm right near that point uh wait meet so I'm now gonna pivot pivot a bit keeping your needle down yep so needle down and pivot I always feel like it's an episode of friends when I yeah pivot. Pivot. pivot actually I might just go up one more stitch because I'm a little bit low there Should have taken this. There we go. Take that piece off and make life easy for myself. That's better. Yeah, so I can flatten, make that nice and flat now. Stitch across, and I'm going to do back tack as well. Just take, oop, went a little bit too far there. Again, needle down and back down the other edge. So you do tack this if you for. Uh, well, you'll have a bit more time than me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think this is something that you yeah. you can um, spend a bit more time on. Mm. Like you say, it's, it's 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 not one of those makes that you go, oh, it's a really quick top, oh, no. I'm done. It's actually one yeah. that, no, practice some yeah, of Yeah, I mean, and it's work skills. as well. I mean, you're buying, some fabrics it. are lovely. And, you know, and, you know, take a bit of pride in it and you know, don't worry about spending a bit of time on it. You know, it's your top. You know, make it, yeah. make it nice, yeah. That's not done. Just give that nice. a press. So is this where the buttonhole would go? Uh, so this would get gathered down. Right. And the cuff, where is my cuff? So then there's a separate pattern piece for the cuff. There is a separate cuff. piece for your cuff. Right. Okay. You've interfaced that as well. Yeah. Ooh, I've got threads everywhere. So, again, if I can show you quickly, if I just very quickly gather. Are we all right time, Kat? 
my oh. four oh. minutes. Yeah, so very, very quickly we'd gather gather it down. Again, you're just taking the top stitches yeah. or whatever stitches yeah. you can do on telly. Yeah, so gather it down. Again, you can maybe measure across. You yeah. Measure across. Uh, it just gives you a bit of an idea of how tightly you need to gather it. And what will happen is if we turn it, I'll turn it back through to the right side. It's a big pan piece, isn't it, for the cuff? I didn't expect to see such a big pattern piece. Bell sleeve, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, cool, I love it. And then that would get stitched yeah. all along there into that. And then this will get folded up. And when you're doing the cuff, and it will explain this in the instruction, um, when you're doing the second side of the cuff, when that's stitched on, fold this end back on itself. And then stitch. So what you want, you want to stitch it, well, when you, yeah, hang on. Stitch that side down, yep. Yeah. Wrong way around. No, oh, that is the right way, isn't it, yeah. yeah. Right sides together. Yeah. Then at some point it will say to turn it back on itself like that. Okay. And fold that edge down. And that's because that's when you're actually physically making up your cuff. So remember to, because what if that's flapping about, it just, and it also it helps you with your seam allowance. It's already contained within there. So at some point in the instructions, it will tell you to fold that part back and you stitch the edge down and at the other side as well. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much. I mean, we've gone through loads of Yeah, quick, uh, very quickly, yeah. <laughs> As I say, you have more time at home, yep. but it's. I think these are really lovely key points of, yeah. as well of making sure that you spend that bit of time and uh, and, and make sure you get a beautiful top like phase. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it's come I won't so tell well. anybody if you walk off with that top on. It's lovely, isn't it? It's on the telly. It's on the telly. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. Much, but it's beautiful though. Yeah. All the fabric's gorgeous. It's so lovely to see. Yeah, you well. again. When lovely. are you back on? Another couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm not so sure what I'm doing yet, but yeah, I'll be two weeks. More hats, top hat, Maybe, possibly. Yeah, I'm a hat girl. <laughs> I know what hats you want to see. From the face. Well, I want to see some rolled hems. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, yes. And rolled hems. Oh. And a pattern. Yeah, I want to learn my own patterns. All right, okay. Make my patterns. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. To see you. We'll see you soon. We're Thanks. going to have a recap of uh, all of the fabrics and the pattern right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. learn all these different techniques and, and then apply them isn't it to something that's really fancy I love these tops so we've got two different size patterns at the moment is the oh right literally a handful of these left now really really limited indeed if you do want the smaller size um I don't want to put anybody off by telling you how many we've got but check out now if you want it check out now so you've got the shorter sleeves the cap sleeve the floaty lovely cap sleeves we've got the long sleeves like uh, like Faye was making and then this beautiful tie now we had a real in-depth a demo of how to do this and I'm really excited to be able to apply that to different tops as well if you want to add a bit more shape to any tops love it looks great in plain fabrics or any of the fabrics that we've got today are going to work perfectly for the pattern it's just £9.99 and that one's size 6 to 14 if you want size 14 to 22 um, and as 
face edge, you can always take in. So if you do want to go for the larger size, if you are in between, for example, if you're a size 14, I would go for the larger one because you can always sort of take in. Even though it's, it's quite a nice big floaty top that will still cinch in at the waist with the tie, um, I still would think if you are sort of wondering whether you're cause some shops I'm you know you can be on that edge can't you 12 to 14 or 14 to 16 um that's a good one to sort of jump to I would suggest nine pound 99 all of the measurements on the back of the packet which is on the website now the fabric that you saw the the top already made out of was this one and it's beautiful it's got slightly more of a crepe feel to it than the viscose I'll see if we can find what the, the composition of, of it is because it's really lovely. It's still ever so soft, but it isn't as sort of silky as the other two. It's 38 99 and that's for two and a half metres, which is enough to make the largest size, which is a size 22. So if you want to make it a smaller size, you're going to have plenty left over for other garments or other bits and bobs. Or plenty of chances to have a real good play with them without panicking that you, you know, you're going to run out of fabric. I love the digital print, beautiful colours. If you're anything like me and are always edged to going towards black fabric, uh, black clothes, but it's nice to just still add a bit of colour, isn't it? It's 100% viscose, extra wide, £38.99. Okay, I think this one is the only one available by the half metre on the website as well. So if you know that you are, if you've looked on the, on the packet and you're only one of the smaller sizes, if you want it by the half metre for other projects or you know exactly how much fabric you need, definitely go to the web for that. But remember, $38.99 for these, you are going to be able to use the code MIDWEEK5 and get five pounds off, MIDWEEK5. Add it at checkout and you get five pounds off over 30 pounds today. Which is only for today, by the way. It's only for today. This is the one that Faye was working with. It's beautiful. I'd love to see this one all made up. You have to finish it. Faye said, I'm gonna finish it. Put it on Facebook, it's beautiful, isn't it? Ever so silky, silky soft. And technically, take five pound off it. That's what you're paying, really, isn't it? 38 nine times two and a half meters of fabric, but use the code and you get another five pound off. We've also got my fave, I'm gonna say. I love this color. We, oh, honestly, we always love corals, but sometimes, Corals can be more pink. This is definitely like your orangey summer holiday, even if it's in your garden, even if it's to have nice summer. I've got a dress in this colour and I always get compliments on it. Always get compliments and it's so pretty. Imagine making the top and somebody says to you, where's that from? Where's that from? You can tell them you made it yourself. Oh, the satisfaction. The satisfaction, it is just beautiful. So it's two and a half metres, £33.99. That's to make the largest size, size 22. Okay, right, we have got two of our favourite machines. My favourite machine, 680, I love it. Uh, and the 780 as well. It's gorgeous. Coming up, do not go anywhere. We're back after this. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is in fact quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some Something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere. And sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, I should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one, keep a, a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a, a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush, it's not a race. Have a little practice, 
with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so you get your techniques just right but also slow down take your time watch what you're doing think about what you're doing and read the instructions that's always very useful so what can i say i've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and i would have to say in all honesty being on sewing street Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good. It's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then, bye.
Do you know how excited that um, that little VT makes me? Just a little teaser there. Christmas makes coming soon. And I must say, yesterday before um, before I went home, we did do a little bit of a preview. So I have had a, a bit of a chat with Haley, our marketing manager, and we've got so much in store for you, ready for Christmas makes. Now. I know that John Cole Morgan gets very, very excited about Christmas anyway, but I, I know in the sewing community, we all need to think about it a bit more, a bit earlier than everybody else. And I'm going to say, especially this year, with all that's been going on this year, I definitely want to get myself organised because you just don't know what's going to happen. I definitely don't want to be stood outside lots of shops trying to do my Christmas shopping and all this. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get lots of Christmas makes ready to gift or to decorate nice and early. So stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled for, for the newsletter to see when, when that's going to be coming out. Also, can I tell you today, until midnight tonight, you can get five pounds off your orders. If you spend 30 pounds or more, then you'll get five pounds off using the code midweek5. It is such a great opportunity to stock up on any haberdashery, any little bits and bobs, any extra fabric that you need. If you've bought something today, whether it be the early bird or whether you've bought anything, it's definitely worth checking out. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think that midweek offer might be, it might not be the reason that you buy one of these big fancy machines, but it might just be that little, you know, do you know what? That's my P and P and a bit more off. I'm going to get it home and, and have a bit of a play with it. You still got your money back guarantee with both Eleanor machines. Ah, actually, no. This Eleanor machine, you get a two year warranty. I talked to you this one about. I talked to you about this one in a little bit. But we're going to start with the 780 plus. Now, I was on a. I want to say last Tuesday with Jane Brogan, uh, who is uh, the sort of. Well, she said the Midlands and below, so the Midlands and South rep uh, for Elna and Janome. She, she, she worked, they're both the same sort of brand under the same umbrella, sister companies, Janome and Elna. So those of you that are familiar with Elna or Janome will instantly know they are one of the most reputable brands when it comes to buying and investing in a sewing machine. And let's face it, I'm not talking about the 60 pound, 100 pound, 200 pound machines that I know that you can pay. This is for somebody who wants to really take their sewing to the ultimate, and I mean ultimate level with this machine. It is spectacular. In terms of making your sewing life so much quicker and efficient, this is a game changer when it comes to machining. So it's a 780 plus, it's a big machine. I don't know whether you saw when we were looking at the both of them, the difference in size. It actually, they look quite similar in size from, from here, don't they? But this one has got a really, really large, extra large throat space between. So those of you that are um, wanting to do quilting, but also like dressmaking, if you also do a bit of home furnishing, if you tend to do a bit of dabbling between sewing, you will love this machine. It's brilliant that it's got all of the space, it comes with an extra large extension table, which is laser cut, ready to go, with the little feet as well, which all change position so that you can have it um, wherever you're sewing. It is a machine that I would suggest maybe you have a designated sewing space. So we've got different machines that are great for different reasons. They're portable, you can put them away, pack them away. This one is such a big, robust machine that I would probably suggest this is somebody who is sewing a lot, who um, wants to make sure that they're getting the most efficient stitches and the, the, the biggest array of stitches, as you've actually got over 300 different stitches. Oh, how am I lifting this? I think it's from the other side to show you all of those. Um, there we go. So you have over 300 different stitches and they're all in different categories, which is fantastic. So you've got a great range of your utility stitches. You've got a huge array of buttonholes. You've got lots of applique stitches. You've got your heirloom stitches. You've got a huge array of quilting stitches, which are all gorgeous, massive array of quilting stitches. If you love applique, you've got a lovely selection of uh, satin stitches. You've got bridge stitches, decorative stitches. Um, now this one's called long. So I know that when we go through the different uh, features and functions of this machine, it says about, it's not a long arm quilting machine, but I wonder whether that long stitch means that you can almost get the effect of like long arm quilting, I'm presuming. Uh, if we go across then to the next one, your pictorial stitches. 
I just love all the detail. They've got so many gorgeous, playful stitches, handmade. Even though this isn't an embroidery machine, you can still do monogramming. You've got one, two, three, four, it looks like four, five, six different alphabets. You've got loads of alphabets on there. You also have this feature here, which is what sort of sets this machine apart, I feel, which is your HP. So it's your high performance uh, stitches. So you've got the professional grade needle plate that comes with this. You've got your straight stitch needle plate. So if you want to get that perfect precision when you're sewing a quarter inch, if you want to make sure that it doesn't chew up your fabric when you're starting that next uh, sequence, you've also got the option of doing your horizontal mirror image as well. So I like that you've got all of that nice and, and, and easy at the top there to focus on. What also is great with this is, now it sounds, it sounds silly, but I find having the vision and having the light, it's a lovely daylight which you can actually tilt back and forth. I haven't got this one plugged in, but it's a really lovely bright light. It's an LED light, so it's not gonna get hot. You don't need to worry about keep changing the batteries, but that's a new addition as well. With the 780 Plus, you do get that extra light as well as many lights under the needle, under the uh, throat space as well, you've got extra lights there. Whilst we're here, we'll have a look at some of these features and functions because a lot of them you might ref you might recognise with the Elna, uh, su such as the speed control. You've got the variable speed control, which you can slow down or speed up whilst you're sewing. It goes as fast as oh gosh, I don't know whether Laura knows this offhand. The uh, speed, per, how many stitches per minute? I know the six eighty is about twelve hundred per minute. I think this one is actually even faster. So you can go ever so quick when you're doing lots of uh, speedy sewing, lots of straight sewing. But if you are doing more intricate seams, intricate sewing like we were seeing with Gorgeous Faye, and you want to slow it right down and do some pivoting, you have that ability. You have your automatic thread cutter, which you can program at the end, as the machine has a memory, at the end of every stitch sequence, you can have it that it ends with a locking stitch, and then it ends with lifting your, your foot up and it cuts your thread. I mean, it's amazing. It's gonna save so much time. So it's brilliant. Not, not only does it save thread, it saves time. It's got 1, 000, uh, it's 1,060 stitches per minute uh, on this machine. Plus then you've got your automatic thread cutter. This one is different to any other machine I've seen from Elna, which is your automatic foot lift. How fab is that? So at the end of a sequence, it will lift your foot. So if you're reaching behind, lifting the foot pedal at every sequence. We saw Faye dressmaking when you're going around curves. You're not having to lift your hand off your project to be able to do that. Also got your needle up down. Great as well option instead of having to hand crank all the time. You've got your locking stitch, your reverse stitch, and you can use it with or without a foot pedal. The superior needle threading system you can see here. Oh, am I going from the wrong angle? There we go. So you've got your superior needle threader uh, and it comes with a huge array of accessories, features and functions. It's got a free arm. Uh, you can actually take all of this off. So if you're doing sleeves, if you're doing bags, if you need to do anything in the round, you've got the option of, uh, of using your free arm. It's got a knee lift. You've got, you can see the slot at the front there uh, to be able to put your knee lift in. That comes as standard. And then if we could have a look through, Kat, your features and functions. Oh, there's your superior needle. I was thinking, where is it? I was pulling it down here. I think that's something different. I'm not sure what that lever is, but this one is your needle threader, which is brilliant. So you've got the, um, the lever on the side. I was watching Jane Brogan last Tuesday, and it's definitely worth if I were you. Last Monday, it was the 13th of July. If you want to watch it back, it was the last hour at 12 o'clock, uh, 11 o'clock. So if you do want to watch it back, I was literally in awe, in awe. Hence why I'm like so excited to talk about it. So uh, the features and functions. There are so many incredible uh, things about this machine that you will love, and we're gonna just have a, a talk through from, these are all off the Elna website, which you can have a look yourself. So, as I mentioned at the start, it's got that extremely large, not just large workspace, extremely large workspace. So that long arm design, it's not a long arm quilter, it's still classed as a domestic machine, but it's got that long arm design and wide throat space, plus your extra wide extension table. So if you are doing, some beautiful ruler work or quilting work, then this is fantastic. If you're a quilter, if you're a, uh, a soft furnisher, if you're doing big coats or big garments, it's also got a dual feed plus system, 
which basically is like having a built-in walking foot. So it's gonna guide through multiple layers of fabric in perfect synchronization with amazing precision without having to change your foot. The, I mentioned earlier on about the HP, the high performance foot and the high performance needle plate. This is a professional feature which will give you a real professional level when you're sewing. It's an extraordinary combination for sewing perfect curves and quarter of an inch top stitching. Oh, how amazing will that look? Again, for bag making, for dressmakers. That's what I love about the, the Arna machines is they think of everybody. Think about all of the different skills that you might have and why you might want to use the machine. Ruler work capacity. If you want to have a go with some amazing ruler work, long arm quilting effects that you can get with this machine are fantastic. Uh, and you can go and pay hundreds of pounds. I was only talking to John Carl Morgan about this. He was saying, I've watched so many people who are sending uh, quilts to me to be long armed and they're expensive to be long armed. You can get that effect with the ruler work from your machine at home. Free motion quilting. We saw a bit of a demo with Cara yesterday of for a free motion quilting. And yes, you can do that on lots of machines, but with this machine, you can do four special different press feet options, including an open toe so you can see what you're doing. The foot height is adjustable and they can easily be changed with our clip on and clip off system, which is fantastic. So no screwdrivers required, which um, you might have seen yesterday's show. The memorized quilting seaming function for efficiency, uh, for, for efficient, efficiently, sorry, stitching and large number of blocks in the same size. So remember, I, you can see on the screen there, we went through it with Jane in great detail. So I very much recommend watching last Monday's show if you're umming and ahhing about this, because I think that would just make up your mind for you. There is so much to do to, that you can do with this machine, but also it won't let you do anything you're not allowed to do. The computer, which is uh, this side, the, the LED touchscreen, really responsive touchscreen, allows you to sort of go through all of the features and functions with a really user-friendly uh, computer. I always get a bit scared of technical things, but actually it will not let you do anything you're not allowed to do. Tell you what foot to use, what stitch you need, it will automatically adjust to your uh, re recommended stitch width, stitch length, you can override it, you can put together sequences, you can see what they look like on the big screen. It is fantastic, definitely worth watching Jane's show. Also, the accessories that come with this machine come in a nice box like this. Oops, there's loads of them in here. Two layers, like a fancy box of chocolates. Your stitch plate, you've got a fab walking foot, you've got different attachments to put on the walking foot as well. You've got all your free motion feet. Here's a list of all of the features, and all of the uh, standard accessories that come with it. So obviously you get your big extension table and you get your knee lift. You also get soft cover, plus all of the different feet, rolled hem foot, zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe stitch foot, blind hem foot, overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, quarter of an inch seam foot with quilting guide, open toe darning foot, open toe darning foot, closed toe darning foot, sorry, free motion quilting foot, all of the different free motion feet in fact, uh, variable zigzag foot, ruler work foot, so you can get on straight away with your ruler work, you can pay over 50 pounds, over 100 pounds in fact for certain ruler, ruler work feet. You've got one included of this. You've got your buttonhole sewing foot. You've got your button sewing foot, your dual feed AD and holder, the wide type. You've got your professional grade quarter of an inch seam foot, your high performance one. Your dual feed plus foot, HP2 and holder. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on. You've got a circular pivot pin. You've got loads as standard. Uh, if you watched Jane's show with me last week, we went through in the instruction manual. It's so clear and it's brilliant to be able to just go through what all of these feet are and what they use. Don't get me wrong, I understand it's two thousand pounds. This isn't some. This isn't going to be for somebody who you know is just gotten into sewing during lockdown and is thinking, oh, do you know what? I need a sewing machine. Um, I'll just get this one willy nilly. It might be something that you've been thinking about for a long time and you've been researching. If you've just wanted that bit more of a look into the machine, watch back last Monday's show. Jane from Elna was here talking through every feature and function. And if it sways your decision, you get an extra five pounds off today. So you can think of it as your P&P off. It comes from Elna, but it's with our postage and packaging. So you can get it home 
essentially with free PMP and a couple more pounds off because it's only 3.95 PMP. Type in midweek five on the item code. If there's any questions that you've got about it, I don't have anywhere near enough time to sort of dive into all of the features and functions of this machine. But if you've got any questions, studio at sewingstreet.com is the email address. If you do want to email any questions to us, if I can answer them, I absolutely will. And if I can't, I will endeavour to make sure I find out for you and get back to you today. So please do message in. So, as I would hate for you to miss out on, on any of the machines, you do get a two year warranty with Alna. Um, I think I've covered, you get an extra big foot pedal, large foot pedal that comes with it. You can use it with or without. Uh, as I say, all of the features and functions are listed on Elna's website. So please do have a look at that one. I do want to leave that one with you and I'll come back to it if we get a chance. But our most popular machine that we stock and always the machine for me of choice has always been and I think will always be the 680 plus for a number of reasons. Firstly, I know so many people who own this machine or uh, uh, you know the, the, the sort of same model, whether it be in Genovi or, or, or the just 680, this is now the 680 plus. It is exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. We are still, I believe, offering it with a five year warranty at the moment. And this for me is, I'm gonna say my dream machine. I love it, I absolutely love it. It's got a huge array of stitches. It's got all of the features and functions that, um, that, that our, our guest designers love. It's probably one of the most user friendly machines actually. The amount of guest designers, Faye being one of them, about 10 minutes before the show, are you okay using the 680 plus? I've never used it, I'll give it a go and straight away they're in, up, done and, and, and can use it. Because of its really lovely computerised features and functions, it won't let you sort of do anything you're not allowed to do with it, um, but it's quickly, it easily to na it's easy to navigate around. So once again, let's start at the top here. So this flaps open like that and you've got your straight stitch needle plate comes with this as well. So like I was talking about with the last machine, you have one of those straight stitch needle plates, which I know anybody who's a quilter or just patchwork, you will love that. Definitely put that on if you're doing just your straight stitching, you'll get a perfect straight stitch. You've got a great uh, selection of utility stitches. You've got a lovely selection of buttonholes. You've also got a great array of satin stitches and quilting stitches. You've then also got lots of great pictorial stitches, which this machine does have a memory. So if you want to put together, uh, you know, like the spool and then the scissors, and then you want to put some hearts or whatever sequence you want to do, you can load it all into the, the machine and it will remember that sequence for you. You can then also do any monogramming, personalization. That's what I really like about this machine. It's not an embroidery machine, but I can still personalize things for my friends, personalize things for Christmas, personalize things for myself. You can do your own little labels, quilting labels, really quickly and really easily with the memory system on this machine. It's one of those that I would say to a lot of my friends who are hobby sewers, because I also know the professionals use this. I know that there's a lot of people who are uh, professional sewers, who work in the industry, who also have recommended and love this machine. So I, I, I know that if I'm saying to somebody who's a hobbyist, you will get the results you want with this machine. It's used by the professionals. If I open up this little wardrobe, you're keeping all your feet nice and, uh, nice and tidy and accessible as well. I don't know about you, but sometimes if they are separate, if I keep them in a drawer, if I keep them somewhere else, I'll think, Oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered to go and find that foot. Whereas they're all here. There's different compartments throughout the machine to be able to find uh, exactly the foot that you need. And it will tell you on the screen what foot you need. So right now, once I've turned it on straight away, I'm going to turn it off and turn it on again so you can see how quickly it sort of reacts to changing the stitches. So I can go through the modes, which are at the top of the, 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 uh, the machine. You can also do your scissors. I can engage that. So then at the end of my stitches, it's going to cut the thread. You can override what is the recommended stitch length and stitch width. So like Faye was using earlier on, if you're doing gathering, it goes right up to a, a, a number five. But did you hear? It won't let me do anything I'm not allowed to. It's telling me if I want to do this stitch, I can. I need uh, my A foot on. If I want to do, for example, let's pick number 25, which is a buttonhole. It's told me I need foot R. It's told me I haven't got my foot pedal, oh no, I have got my foot pedal in. So if I take that out, 
Oh, and I've taken the power out. <laughs> there we go. It's told me that I've got my foot pedal in. If I take that out, it's, it's saying that I now can use it with the start stop button. But if you plug it in, it will tell me that my foot pedal is plugged in. So let's go back to the buttonhole one, which was, well, there's one at 23. So there's a buttonhole. It will tell me what foot to put on, which is really lovely. Um, you also have all of these different, almost like speed dial buttons. So you straight stitch, I think that's a quarter of an inch stitch. You've also got a zigzag and a buttonhole. You've got a locking button. So if you're changing your foot, if you're changing a needle, if you've got any little paws or little hands around, you've got the button there. Uh, you've also got a twin needling button. It won't let you do it on a buttonhole. So let's pick one of the stitches, for example. I wonder if on 80, which is a satin stitch, I wonder if I click twin needle, it says I can use it with twin needling. So that's an amazing function as well, because even though it, it, it's got a lot of stitches, um, which we'll go through in a minute, I think we've got over 200 stitches or something, loads of stitches. You actually can make even more stitches by using your twin needle option. You can elongate certain stitches. So let's just go back to uh, zero one. You can e, well, I can't on this one, but again, on a satin stitch, let's try 81. I can then elong that stitch to make change that again. If you think, I don't know what I've been pressing and you wanna go back to the start, press C. You've got a memory button, you've got a mirror image button. There are just so many incredible features and functions. If we go over, if you loved the buttons that were on the front of the 780, you, you'll recognize a lot of them still on this machine. So you've got your speed control, your variable speed control. You've also got your um, thread cutter, your needle up down, your locking stitch, your reverse stitch. You have got your uh, start stop button. You've still got a really quick and lovely needle threader. You have, uh, as I say, different uh, so straight stitch needle plate, which you can interchange. You notice you've got a really lovely big throat space. One of my very, very good friends who is an industry expert, and I'm sure lots of you will know him, he absolutely loves this machine, and he said he was always used to working on industrial machines. So any small sort of domestic machines felt almost claustrophobic, whereas with this, because of the lights, because of those really lovely light, uh, well, daylight LED light bulbs, you've got great vision, you've got great space all the way around the machine. You've plus, you've also got extra space here, more feet, more feet. In fact, should we have a look through some of the feature functions and standard accessories that you get? So, it's a thousand stitches per minute. It can speed along, but also then do you really lovely, intricate stitches nice and precisely if you want to take it slow. 170 stitches on the machine, including 10 buttonholes. Uh, I, I know I said over 200, but that's probably, if you're starting to add all your twin needling and uh, you start uh, overriding the different stitches, then you can just, it's endless really, isn't it? 170 stitches, 10 buttonholes, built-in superior needle threader, no more straining to try and thread your the eye of the needle. You then also got that really nice large sewing space, maximum sewing speed up to a thousand stitches a minute. You have got the option of taking the, the box off the side to create your free arm if you're doing any circular sewing, any bags, any sleeves, any trouser legs, whatever you're doing in a round, you can do that really nice and easily. You've got the automatic and programmable needle, uh, sorry, thread cutter. So as I say, at the end of every stitch sequence, you can cut your thread. You've got your presser foot adjustment. You've got your easy and guided bobbin threader with built-in thread cutter. You have your bobbin thread and upper thread sensor, so it will tell you when your bobbin's running low. You've got your extra wide table, and you've got your 10 unit kit easy bobbins. It comes with a huge array of accessories, as standard anyway. You have got your knee lift, you've got your extension table, which is a really nice size extension table, your cover as well that comes with it. And remember, five year warranty with us. It is exclusive to us here uh, in the UK, which is amazing. This is the, the standard accessories that come. So you've got your A foot, your rolled hem foot, if you want to be like our lovely Faye, making lots of rolled hems. <laughs> Your zipper foot, your satin stitch foot, open toe satin stitch foot, blind hem foot, overlock foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, darning foot, convertible free motion quilting kit, including closed toe, open toe, and clear view foot. You've got your even feed foot, automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate, button sewing foot, circular pivot pin, so you can do lovely circular quilting. Your quilting guide bar, quilting guide bar for even feed foot. You've then also got, so that's, is that 
classed as your walking foot? Does it say that you've got walking foot? Because you do also get a walking foot standard with this. You've got your straight stitch needle plate, you get five bobbins, 10 unit kit easy bobbins, seam ripper, limp brush, all of your bits and bobs, extra spools, extra spool holders, um, your knee lift, your extra wide extension table, foot controller, and a semi hard cover. If you have got the space, if this is going to be just set up ready to go, keep your extension table on there all the time because it is just going to uh, really help support your needle. It is a great extra space to be able to have that. There is so much, once again, that I, I could talk to you about. It's, it is one of my favourite machines. Well, no, I know that I'm um, standing biased, but it is my favourite machine. And at Sewing Street, what I love about our channel and our community is that we're here to sh tell you different brands. We're bringing you all the different facts on things. And it's up to you to make the decision. But when it comes to having Elna as a brand, and when it comes to having, uh, you know, the build quality and the, the amazing features that you get from this machine, I honestly can say with confidence that you will love it. We've already had people checking out today. I want to say a huge congratulations. And for those of you that get it home today, you are, oh, the envy of me. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to, to hear what you've been making on it. And I think that's, that's the difference. I was having this chat with my husband, actually, about... The difference that it makes when you're sewing on a really good machine and I think that's what makes you sort of want to invest I've absolutely I've said this time and time again I've outgrown my machine at home I have it's not sewing to the level that my my mind is like I want to do for things that my machine's just not capable of and every time I come in and I see this machine I'm like oh that's what I want to do and it's the machine that makes it so much more efficient and will save you time. It will give you a professional finish. And yeah, it's, I think, a fantastic price to be able to say that the finish that you're going to achieve, from my, my opinion. Uh, if you were to say to me, I've got 1,500 pounds to spend on a machine, I would still recommend this one and say, right, save the extra 400 pounds and get yourself lots of lovely fabric and bits and bobs to play around with. I'd definitely make the most of it. Okay, get all your messages in. If there's any questions you've got on either machine, I remind you it's studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. That will go straight through to Laura, who's the producer today in the gallery. Uh, if we are off air, as we uh, obviously finish at 12 o'clock today. If we do go off air, we will make sure, we'll endeavour, please do go on Facebook as well. If you send any messages to Facebook, that's monitored all day. So we will make sure that we get back to you and answer any of your questions. The discount code is only available to midnight. A lot of people are asking about the discount code. Speak to the team if you've got any questions or if you've got anything in your basket that totals over £30, use the code MIDWEEK5 and you'll get £5 off spending £30. Right. Um, is there anything else you want me to mention? Should we do some fabrics? Maybe if, like you say, you've got your machine, you got it this morning, you're already checked out, you see it on the website, and you want to, to make the most of some gorgeous fabrics. So, are these all individual or are they? This is Turkish Delight, isn't it? This is Neil named this, Turkish Delights. Ah, oh, it's lovely. So you're getting one, two, two and a half meters of beautiful solid rose and Hubble cotton fabric. It's quilting weight, half a meter of misty blue, which is like a ducky green, it's so pretty. You then also got half a meter of blush, half a meter of fuchsia, half a meter of tan, and half a meter of crimson at the bottom there. All half meter pre-cuts. $16.99 if you were just after another bit for your stash to top your total order up over £30 add this to your basket and you're going to get £5 off today that's two and a half metres of beautiful solid fabric I must say I really like some of the big contemporary quilts that are just big blocks of colour and maybe if you've got one of these new fancy machines that you want to practice your ruler work or practice your quilting just on solids, it looks amazing. It really, really does. So that's your Turkish Delight bundle for £16.99. The blues, half a metre of each. And, uh, I mean, I know we've got it all folded up here, but I'll open out. Oh, I like this one. Half a metre. This is Peacock. Most of these will be available by the half metre as well. They're already pre-cut for this bundle. But if there is a certain colour that you think, oh, do you know what? I'm drawn to that Peacock colour as well. 
and you want more of it, if you go onto the web, it's about 349 and a half meter. So it, have a look for Peacock on the website and you'll be able to find it. It's 12 pound 99, that's what half meter looks like. And you've got four of those for under 13 pounds. Um, hang on, they're 349 each, definitely, aren't they? So that's 14 pounds, not 12.99. There you go. Um, someone's definitely done their maths, their maths wrong. You've got half a meter of your peacock, half a meter of cadet blue, half a meter of marine, and half a meter of powder blue. Blue, the color of the year, of course, Pantone color of the year. And I think, do you know what? Even though it's color of the year, didn't you tell me, Kat, that it's the world's favorite color? Oh, that's Joe's fact. What a fact, the world's favorite color. It's very, very popular, I suppose, though, in um, every sense. When we're talking about jewelry over on our sister channel, we always say blue, the favorite color it really is. It's gorgeous, just £12.99. And, and when you're looking at bundles like this and all of the different shades that you're getting, quite often in fabric stores, they may have a blue, but they might not have a range of the different shades. And if you are matching it up with certain designer fabrics, this is handy. Nice to be able to have just if you're thinking of linings or backs of cushions or to add in with your patchwork to make your fabrics go that bit further. I've got the reds. So did you see the little advert, the little sneaky sneaky advert that went out? Christmas coming soon. I'm just going to give you a heads up and say right at the moment because of the way everything is in the world, we are obviously getting everything on reorder. Solid fabrics like this, we'll always do our best to get in as soon as we can. But things are taking slightly longer than normal. Um, and right now, I would make the most of your red bundles. If you are excited about sewing along maybe at home when we're doing the live shows uh, towards the end of the month, then this is gonna be ideal to be able to, to make lots of Christmas little bits and bobs. To say you've got two meters of fabric here, $12.99, another saving. And you've got half a meter of hot tomato, half a meter of red, half a meter of crimson. Oh, I'm testing my knowledge now. And half a meter of plum claret. Oh, three out of four is not bad. I'm getting there, Laura. I'm following your footsteps. £12.99 for two meters of your red core fabric. But I really like these reds. This was more of like, like literally like hot tomato. It's like paprika. But that was Christmas red, Christmas, Christmas. Oh, I love paprika crisps, do you? Do you want to really fancy for my lunch today? A good crisp sandwich, like a good thick white bread crisp sandwich. Just me? Just me? Oh, you got salmon and new potatoes. You're not, I'm not as fancy as that. I'm gonna have a big crisp sandwich. <laughs> I definitely should have eaten a big crisp sandwich, judging by me struggling to get my new jeans on this morning. Oh. Faye didn't try to make me feel better though. She just says, yeah, you know, we've all put weight on over lockdown. I'm like, oh, Faye, thanks. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Are these individual? They're a bundle. My friend at the moment, she is currently in labor, about to give birth. Will it be a boy or a girl? We don't know, but how beautiful is Steffi? Meter and a half. I was so excited. I, I actually, uh, it's quite funny. She said to me, she's been the, it's a second child, so she's really chilled out, too chilled out for me. I, I, she said, should we meet for lunch this week? I thought, aren't you really due right now? And she says, oh, but we should meet up. It'd be really nice to see you. I haven't seen her, obviously, for months and months and months. And she said, I'd love to just go and sit outside whilst it's nice as weather. So I've texted her saying, I've booked us a table to go and sit outside, 1.45 today. And she's texted me saying, I'm in labour. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it today. It's like, ah, oh, this is so exciting. That's a, it said on the cancellation thing, um, reason for cancellation. I thought, do I say? Friends got into labour. It sounds like such a, a, a made up excuse, but no, very true. Uh, so this is what just remind me of. I thought, oh, for lovely little um, things for a nursery. How pretty is this? Your stars, you've got half a metre of your grey or silver, it's so pretty. Half a meter of your baby pale blue and then baby pink. Oh, gorgeous, 10 pounds 99, a meter and a half of your stars fabric. 
so pretty, they're gorgeous. Rose and Hubble, they're poplin weight by the way, slightly lighter weight. So if you are thinking of bag making, get yourself some interfacing or H640. I wonder if the, um, we've got Styleville as well, the, the new one that we launched yesterday, it's actually got a sticky adhesive back, back on the, the one side that you can iron on. So definitely worth getting them, making the most of the sewing foams. Now, this is interesting. I've not seen these before. These are Janome rulers. First time I've seen Janome rulers. Now, we've got one in metric and one imperial. Okay, is that centimetres or inches? I know there's metric and imperial. The hilarious thing is, whenever you see me so cutting mats or talk about anything, I'll go, it's imperial and metric, and turn it over really quickly because I don't know the difference. Which is imperial and which is metric? Inches. Inches in it, Imperial. Thank you so much. Because you know, when someone says to you, no question that's too silly. I have felt silly asking you that. Thank you, you've made me feel better. Um, so this is Imperial inches, 12 pounds, 99. Really clear markings as well. It's a nice thick acrylic. So if you are working with rotary cutter, 12.99 is a great price on um, a quilting ruler, isn't it? So you've got all of your lovely uh, key angles. I think you've got a 45 degree there. It looks like um, a 60 degree and a 30 degree angle. Plus across the whole ruler, you've got every half inch marked out very, very clearly indeed. Just £12.99. I do like the black and pink as well. They look nice. It's going to show up on lots of your fabrics, isn't it? Oh, you can see the angle slightly clear then at the bottom. I think our Kerry from Living in Loveliness loved these. 24 inches is a great size to start out. Those of you that are, um, are starting out quilting in patchwork, this is the first uh, size ruler that I got because you can cut the full salvage off your fabric straight away. You can cut your full um, width of fabric. £12.99. Then we've also got metric centimetres. Gosh, aren't I fancy? I'm going to keep saying this now every single day. Um, is this, have we got some little stickers? Because this has got a couple of stickers on it as well. Did you stick some stickers on? You've used some fabric grips. That might be a good idea, you know, because I do like to know that it's got that non-slip grip. So if you do want to get some little fabric stickers, they're really handy to have as well. So, this time, centimetres your metric quilters ruler. Hang on, this is the inches one, isn't it? They look like inches to me. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad. So, that one was your centimetres, you can see, in really bold pink. I told you I'll get mixed up with my metric and imperial. So that was your uh, centimetres, the pink one, and then the black and pink one that we've just been looking at, that's your inches. Centimetres. Oh, gosh. I told you I need to start today again. <laughs> You've got the little hole as well to hang them, so... Um, <laughs> so, uh, do store them flat, look after your rulers, and they will look after you. When you're looking at Janome as well, a very reputable brand, obviously under the same umbrella as Elna. Uh, so, when you are looking at this name, you know, you can rely on the accuracy. It's only 12 99 as well. If you are starting out, I know it can be expensive to start out. If you're using a rotary cutter, definitely use a, a nice quality ruler like this. Just £12.99. That one's your metric. This one's your imperial. Centimetres, inches. No, centimetres, inches. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Can we just, yeah. <sighs> Forget that. I'm so sorry. Right, I've got four different types of sewing machine needles. We've got blue tip, super stretch, um, the red tip needles. Right, so your red tip needle or top stitch needles, a lot of people use these for top stitching, uh, £5.50. If you are doing some, um, obviously if you're doing top stitching on denim, I would use a denim needle, but... These are designed for sort of regular sewing. They're good for your um, cottons. So they are your size 14s. You get a pack of five. I really want to pull this um, little thing off on the back because it tells me more info about the... No, I don't think I can, sorry. 
I think I'm going to peel the actual back off it though. So I'm not. It says about using it with metallics. Um, trying to see through. So here we go. Peeled it off right. So the red tip, which is the ones we're looking at here, it's got a larger eye and groove to accommodate metallic and heavier threads. So can you see? Yeah. So it's got a. It's actually got a, a bigger eye at the bottom of the, the needle. So if you have got a thicker top stitch thread or a metallic thread, it's going to be perfect for that. Thank you. All five of those. Um, we've also got the blue tip. I love the blue tip because I'll always remember Helen Rhiannon who, um, Helen said to me once, I mean, Helen is one of these sewers. She's an amazing dressmaker. She's a toy maker. She's a bag maker. She's an all round sewer. And she was told, if in doubt, use a blue tip needle. If you're working with particularly difficult fabrics or you're not sure what, fa what needle to go with, go with a blue tip. This is really, really good for sewing with difficult fabrics or synthetic fabrics. Uh, it is a pierced point and long groove. Pardon? Just £5.50. What did you say? Sorry, Kat. These are size 11s. And it's really important. We talked about this with Cara yesterday. One of my questions to her was, often do you change your needle and she answered not often as I should and then she followed it up with I also don't clean as often as often as I should I was like what do you mean like uh, around you your home yourself or your machine she was like the machine <laughs> so yeah do make sure you change your um your needle regularly they say you should change your sewing machine needle every eight to hours eight to nine hours of sewing or every large project so yeah, that one is your um, blue tip. Maybe use this if you're working with any of the dressmaking fabrics that we saw uh, we saw Faye working with earlier on. Purple tip. Purple tip needle uh, effectively prevents skipped stitches when sewing stretch fabrics, quilt layers, and also for sewing across a hem. Those of you that are quilting multiple layers, then this is ideal for that. Maybe um, any of your thicker fabrics for dressmaking or quilting. It appears through nicely. Purple tip, it will prevent skip stitching. So if you're finding that it's skipping slightly, have a try with the purple tip. Five pound fifty. I'm just thinking, do you know what? It's virtually like you're getting these for free. If you've got to £30, if you add these into your basket and then you use the code, you're back to £30 and 50 pence. So, um, yeah, it's definitely worth making the most of any needles for your machine ready to go because they're always useful. You're always going to use them and it's a great price, isn't it? I always look for that. You know when you go into the, the, the cosmetic stores and it's three for two and you're like, right, I might as well just get something that I get that extra bit back without spending too much more than I, I'd wanted to. So if you're spending £30, you might as well spend £35 and get your £5 off. So these are your ballpoint. Now ballpoint is a rounded tip needle. Now if you're, if you're using any knit fabrics, Oh gosh, I tried to do a bit of a, um, no, because my head works differently when I say it out loud, it sounds strange, but I've tried to explain how it doesn't uh, penetrate through and how it sort of separates the warp and the weft. It stops it from shredding your knit fabric, basically. It pushes between the fibers rather than cutting them. So it's got a ball tip, it's not going to, it's gonna sort of slide through the warp and the weft with knit fabrics, this is ideal. I've seen somebody do a really clear analogy with like picture demonstrations. And you know what? Today I'm not that person, but <laughs> next time you've just reminded me that I'm gonna do that this afternoon. So next time you want to see ballpoint needles, I'm gonna give you the full PowerPoint presentation of what it actually does. You watch this space. Five pound fifteen for now though. I don't have time, Cat's counting me down already. These are your size 11 and 14, £5.50. Oh, you saw Faye using the scissors earlier on. Oh gosh, we've got loads. Which one first, sorry? Uh, the large known ones, these are MQWQ43. Janome scissors, what I like about these is that they've got that sort of bend in them. So if you imagine you're cutting, it looks a bit peculiar when you're seeing them in the packet, but if you imagine that you're sewing on the, the flat, on the table, you want this part to, to run 
sort of parallel with your with your table. Nine pounds ninety nine for your nine inch shears. Another great price, especially today when you're spending thirty pounds, you're getting another five pound off until midnight tonight. We've got them in a two pack, which you have uh, a really lovely, not novelty, extra freebie. You get a really great pair of snips as well, so you get a great sharp pair of embroidery snips. Your four and a half inch snips and your eight and a half inch general purpose scissors. At £12.99, your prize per scissors. Bearing in mind for embroidery snips, you can pay £15 anyway, can't you? That's so good. And they're from Janome once again. That's £12.99. We have got the uh, knife edge. Sorry, I know that we're running out of time, Cat. We've got the knife edge and then we've also got the little embroidery four inch snips as well. So are these the ones that are micro serrated? Finest available. Um, no, they're not like us rated. $24.99. And also remember there is a huge array of scissors, haberdashery and tools on the website. So have a look. Just so you can see the little fine tip embroidery snips. £12.99. Definitely worth getting that multi pack. That was great value, wasn't it? Okay, tomorrow's show is going to be lovely. I think you've got John with you tomorrow. Oh, is it Debbie? Sally Stevens is back with the array quilt uh, at eight o'clock. At nine o'clock, we've got bag making and flower of the month. At 10 o'clock, we've got creative grid, non-slip, savvy, slotted ruler. That's a new one for me. Uh, and at 11 o'clock, we've got beautiful bundles, one metre of fabric in bundles. And then we're going to repeat the flat cap. Thanks so much for your company today. It's been so lovely. Right, do remember, use the code at checkout. It's only for today. So if you're watching on a replay, it doesn't apply. Only today uh, can you get £5 off using the code MIDWEEK5. Thank you so much for your company. Check out on the machines as well. And I will see you very soon. Bye.